Good morning, folks. How are you? Hopefully, I sound okay. You sound excellent. Who are you again? We are live. Hey, Paul, how's it going, man? Let's see here. Everything seems like it's working. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know. It's, it's, the whole screen is different. Change the color, change the background. That's weird. Just download something. Oh, one of the kids. All right. All right. So, do we have any guests today? Or are we? Uh... No. Um, in and out. In and out. Just oh, one. Okay. My brother left. My brother left. So. You seem a little bit less animated today. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I'm good. A little tired. What well, tired? Yeah, same here. I didn't get. Yeah, it's just slept funny. That's all. I slept on time, but I just slept funny. Did you? Did you? Yeah. But I can't complain though. Sales been ridiculous. So. Nice. Might have been slow. I haven't listed so. I haven't listed anything. That's the weird part. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say since Friday. Hey, I, I mean, I have listed, which wasn't much. I did put a sale on uh, yesterday. Um, try to keep a little traffic in. Yeah. So I think I did twenty percent. Yeah, you kind of have to. Yeah. If it's less than that. People don't really like it. Mm -hmm. I used so to do like ten, fifteen. It kind of trickles in, then doesn't yeah. really work. I when think. I do, when I do thirty or forty, like stuff sells. Oh my goodness, forty! Yeah. I know Jennifer. Our apologies. I wasn't late, Jennifer. I was here. No, he was not. I, I just to be honest, I didn't look. I didn't log in until, uh, but I think uh, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't him. As much as I like to blame Lee Ray, I can't this time. <laughs> but as much as I like to blame. Oh my goodness. What'd you do? All right. So let's check out my eBay. Still hurting? Paul was no, asking. No, no, I was home by nine. I wasn't. I was not that late. No, I was good. We were good. Yeah, you guys are driving back. I remember you. You call when you were driving. That was probably if that was six my time. That was nine something your time. So. Yeah. No, no, we were good. We were very good. I'm gonna have to go back and start watching the other one. Shut up, you don't get. <laughs> <sighs> Oh um, no. I don't do that. Well, that's okay, Jennifer, if that's what you want to do. That, that's cool. that. we, we know we know that your heart will still come back. Sometimes, you know, your mind goes one way but your heart stays. So it's okay, we understand. I don't even know what show that is. <laughs> do you? There's probably a few actually to be honest. Yeah. We're just talking about you over there. Just talking about you. How awesome did we get? Messaged him too to make sure he was had a good night. I know oh. you. I know you are. Oh, I think maybe what was that the, the thousandth Nana Tinks episode or subscriber episode? Oh, he, oh, okay. I saw um. I saw Cameron over there yesterday. Yeah, he was telling me, hey, tell Leroy to get over here. I'm like, ah, I think you yeah, might be busy yeah, today. Yeah, no, you messaged me. That's why I went over. Yeah. Oh, you did go over there. I did. I It was quick, but I went over. Yeah, I was there at the beginning, or a little bit after the beginning, yeah. 
Hey, LAG, how's it going? Anthony. What's going on, LAG? Good morning. What's going on, Ant Man? That's an Ant Man. Oh, they were. They got a little plastered yesterday, did they? Who? I saw I, they had a, a glass of something. Oh, a Nana Tink show? Mm hmm. Oh, no. I guess it's a little late St. Patty's Day party. Off by a day. I saw Paul's um, live the other day, too. Oh, I missed Paul's mm -hmm. live again. Oh, I'm not surprised. Paul, don't be surprised. Um, Jennifer I always knows just, oh, I missed it. I'll catch the next one. <laughs> Jennifer knows a better channel, Paul, if you want to jump over to that one. They don't forget anything. <laughs> uh, I forget everything. If you want someone that's going to forget everything, this is your channel. This is your channel. I'm your guy. <laughs> there you go. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. What am I doing here? I always get confused if the settings are changed. Let's see here. Why do you think you're here? No. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right. Are you planning any new lives or because I haven't seen you, you haven't gone on or no, not no, yet? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. I got to re, uh, readjust some stuff. And, but I got to work tomorrow and stuff. So I got to get switch phones. I got another phone that I got for my brother that I got to switch. And he did leave the camera with me for a little while. So I'm going to try to play with that too. Okay. Does that chart has all. Would say. The cables and everything or. Yeah. It has all the cables and everything. Yeah. It just, it says like you got to download uh, something from Canon and. I get oh, right. Update or something. Yeah. So we'll see. And That's cool. Hi, Michelle. How's it going? I'll find something. The new guy, Johnny, has a, I can't watch. Just me, though. The new guy, Johnny. Who's the new guy, Johnny? Mm -hmm. You'll have to um, message me on Instagram, Anthony, because I don't understand what. Hey, Michael. They they got me lost. They lost. Well, they get it, huh? Are you lost? Because I'm lost. I'm lost. I think okay. I, I I think I missed something. Yeah, me too. Paul or Anthony can message us on Instagram. I'm sure it's about a just a new channel or a, yeah. a channel. Yes. Well, of course I am. That's my thing. I act like the lost person. Well, I usually am lost, but what can I say? I'm not lost. I'm just a little aggravated, but I'm good. Everything good? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice guy, okay, but all to me. Yeah. <laughs> Michael said, I know I'm lost. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm lost. I'm That's um, Anthony, that is Instagram worthy. No. Okay. Well, yeah, great family. Right? That's cool. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. So now, when you now this is that a, um, is that a different is that like um, another platform? Which one? Or is that just somebody hood hoodie life? Oh yeah, see, this is the thing. Yeah, this is this is uh, no, you reason. Hello from Twitch because that's what, that's on Twitch. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so I'm guessing that's clothing. What do you sell hooded for life? I'm 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 guessing clothing. If it's on Depop, yeah. I don't know much about uh, Deep, uh, Depop. Even though I have listed one thing, one T-shirt. Who was just talking about? They sold a bunch on Depop. Was it Tesla Picker? I think it was Tesla Picker. Could be. Or I know Tommy Slope sells on that too. Oh okay. Paul is a professional. Oh, it's your full time job. Paul is a professional baseball card seller, and he likes to give me a hard time. That's his real job. See, which guy are you talking about? The one dressed like a caribou, or the one who made up the word "worder"? Oh, I don't know who made up the word "worder," but the guy dressed up like caribou. That was Cameron. Cameron was in a. You saw him in the the onesie, right? In like a. Yesterday. A uh, camera was in a onesie yesterday, I think. Was yeah, it? like a unicorn was onesie or something. The word, word, I'm not sure of. Okay, vintage clothing. Yep. Vintage clothes. Cool. Hoodie, hoodie Life, do you do any um, eBay at all or just Depop? And is well, Depop a, a platform that switches or is it its own platform? So is it? Yeah, yeah Depop. It's. I mean, people do real well with vintage stuff. I know that. That's okay. the only thing I listed was one vintage T-shirt. That was it. Or janitorial supply company helps schools like custodial cleaning plans, but they just sales. Oh. oh boy. Oh, he's not. No, that one guy. of those days. Paul, are you that guy that told me years ago that I wasn't that I wasn't. Um, I wasn't a toilet cleaner. I was a, um, I was a bathroom specialist. <laughs> we had this guy come in. He's like, no, I don't want to hear you guys say that. Because he's like, oh, what do you guys do in the day? Oh, I vacuum, I empty trash, clean the toilets, you know, just wipe crap. He's like, oh wait, hold on now. I want to tell you guys something. You are not. You are a bathroom specialist. I'm like, yeah, buddy. I wipe up shit. <laughs> I'm not a bathroom special. <laughs> Joe. Oh, Joe. Oh, there's Joe a Joe. On Joe was on. Joe was on there last yeah, night. Philly. Yeah, Philly Picker. Yeah, he was on last night. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so they're talking about last night's show. Okay, sorry. I thought it was yeah. this morning. Okay. Yeah. So he was on twice yesterday. Wow. <clears throat> had a long day. Nice having money come into source. Can't can't hold people right. Uh, if you believe already, me, once I get it done, fair, I, I go crazy. I can't multitask that well. That's my problem. Yeah, I get stuck doing one thing. Like I even complained for this morning. It's what I do. Uh, I whine. I do more buying on eBay than selling. Interesting. Actually, eBay has been. Pretty good to buy on recently, I must uh, say. I you can't buy tools on eBay, though, can you? You can. I used to. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Depop and Grail target interesting clothes for men. Yep, I've heard that too. I've never looked at Grailed. I've looked at, like I said, I've listed one thing on Depop. Uh, I don't think it's listed anymore, though. Ironically, it's an Arsenio Hall T-shirt. Oh, I don't cool. really do. I would yeah. list it now. I think I need to relist it actually. Yeah. Yeah, because he has a, this is his little comeback. We're coming to America. Well, not generous confused. Uh. All right, we'll get there. I think it's a confusing warning. What are we talking about? 
Joe <laughs> Love. I think they were talking about last. Don't listen to me. They were talking about last night's show. Yeah. I don't know. What, yeah, I, I think getting, I threw a morning show in there. I was getting confused if they were talking about a morning show now or because Jennifer had threw that in. So I think it was a little confusing. Yeah. I hit the re reset button for both of us. Yeah, me too. Me too. Thrift charity shops are normally my stuff. Oh, okay. So you're, are you, are you in the UK then, Hood Life? I hardly had sleep. Yeah, me, I kind of tossed and turned all night, to be honest. It was, I went to sleep on, uh, around midnight, 12, 20, I think. No, I slept like a baby. I was so frustrated yesterday. Uh, hope whatever it is is okay. Yeah. yeah. What was what should tanks? Um, one thousands, uh, one thousands uh, episode. I can't even pronounce it now. Hooded life. Where in England are you from? I always ask people that just so oh, I get an idea. Yeah, yeah you might, yeah. Kind of going back and forth. Me and Anthony were talking about the morning show guy. Oh, well, that one I have no idea about then. Yeah, that's the one we lost on. And then they started talking about um, their Tink's channel yeah. last night. So that's why I got confused. What day is it today? today oh, it's Friday. Friday. See, here's the thing. I can't, it's hard for me to go into, like, if I go in, the, I open up YouTube right now to find out who they're talking about. All of my YouTube is non reselling stuff. Like, mm -hmm. oh, other than one person, the only person that popped up, Harry Humstone. I'm not even mm -hmm. sure why. Because I, I think because I was at his video <clears throat> a couple days back. Oh, wait, no, there's one more. Uh, Derek's in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, to all new YouTube creators. Oh, Derek's got a new video. I haven't watched that yet. Michelle was talking about Wooder. I'm still, who's, I don't know who Wooder is. Wooder? No idea. 1,000, yeah, giveaway. Oh, maybe those, okay. Oh, I'm so with. okay. I've, I've been going for three days. I'm like lost. Uh, don't worry, join the club. Now you feel like me. I would I I went in my Instagram yesterday and I had like three messages. Drinking Where coffee are you? instead of water. I had like three Instagram messages. Where are you? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> you look at well, because here's the thing, you're like I'm usually like I've said I've heard people say, Oh, you I'm low energy. You're a little bit lower energy than normal because you usually come out with like a like a firecracker. Yeah. So don't feel bad. Bournemouth. Oh, I've been to Bournemouth a long, long time ago. Let's see here. I don't even see the channel. Wow, there's so many lives on Twitch right now. I don't even have it set up. It took me a while, to be honest. I set it up a long time ago, but I didn't know how to get in there. It was a fun meeting. Your buddies went there. Oh, oh, it was. I won't. Uh, let's just say uh, Leroy had a fun time. Or it looks like he had a, a great time, actually. Oh, you? that's why I sent you some video. <laughs> <laughs> All I'll say is, what did you? What was the expression you used? You used something like, "Oh goodness me," or yeah. "Goodness gracious me." Yeah. <laughs> I swear they look like I want to say like a couple twenty-three year olds. Yeah, no, everybody. My buddy Mark is fifty-one, fifty-two. Chris is a year younger than me, so we were all over forty-five. No, nah, you didn't. You didn't look at you look like it, I said a couple of twenty year olds. Thank yeah. you, Jennifer. It was hilarious. Did you get the duck picture? The don't the duck. Yes. Did you get that video? You get the video? Yes, the video is what uh, I was watching over and over again. 
<laughs> the, the, Where were you walking? Were you going to like a museum or something? I mean, it looked no, like silk. No, no, we were just walking. It honestly, seriously, it looked like they were walking in front of like Buckingham Palace. It was all like kind of like, uh, I don't know. It, it did look like they were like out the back. I'll have to send a video to Oh, it looked like they were the location. I'll have to send the video. I was going to send it to leave. Yeah. Talk to me, Goose. Oh, yeah. He's, <laughs> Leroy's not going to get. You've seen Top Gun, right? Who? Yeah, I guess not. Nope, Anthony, you're right. He hasn't seen Top Gun. I. I've watched it like years ago. That's the airplane movie with Tom Cruise, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what was on last average. night? Um, Forrest Gump was on last night, and I watched like 10 minutes of it. You got bored? <sighs> I got confused when he was putting his little boy on the bus. And I said, oh, that's the end oh, of it. Oh, that's the end of it. That's why. Yeah. You watch it like the last 10 minutes. Yeah. Yep. And he said he said he was gonna wait there for him, and my buddy was like, "No, no, he's got my brother." Or somebody said, "Oh no, he's got, he's not." I said, "Listen, I know he was gonna wait there. He waits there for him. He don't go nowhere else. Mm -mm, he doesn't go. He sits there on that bench." And Anthony oh. says, "We get nothing done." Huh. Hmm? And Anthony yeah. says, "We get nothing done." <laughs> I haven't watched Twitch since Dan stopped singing on it. Whoa, she sang on it, really. Interesting. <sighs> okay. No problemo. <laughs> now, let's see here. I got a bunch of, let me see, let's see here, where are we? Can't get the screen to go fully full screen. I feel like there's something in the, like a, like the scroll bar at the bottom is locked. And the color change and it's throwing me off. It's all like beige now. Before it was like a black scroll bar so you can see all the icons. Now it's beige, so everything's you can't really see the icons anymore. Because most of these icons are like light blue and white. It's really unnerving. I don't like it. All right. You are, what? What's up, Ryan? Oh, I'll be right there. I'll come get you. Don't worry. What? That's so weird. That's so weird. I had an item taken down and it says it was for it being too violent. And I'm looking at it and it's an action figure. It's a pretty, just a common middle of the road action figure. And I'm trying to figure out why they said this is violent. That's so weird. Good morning, Craig. How's it going? Good morning. How are you? <laughs> he was like, it something else. Morning, how are you, man? Good, how you doing? Good, good, good. You, you notice, you see Leroy survived so far? He did so far. He's doing okay. <laughs> oh. All right, he's got his coffee now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
How many things you guys ship out today, Mo? I mean, what I did about when, when we left for that trip was a week ago now. Uh, I put everything like on between three and five day handling. Oh, okay. So technically, I'd only have to ship out seven, mm. but I'm going to probably go back and if otherwise it'd be like 16 or 17, I think. Mm. Mm. Um, I've been doing bit by bit each day. Like that first, that day when I called you, when was that? Wednesday, and I was late to the post office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, even then I didn't ship out everything, only the ones that had to go out. But that was bad. I was late. I, I put it in the thing, and I'm hoping that they scan it. This is well after 5. I got I, I have um, – actually, i probably give it to Mark. I have some that I got to drop off and send them to the post office. They're already done. Well, I have five more I got to ship out today. I've yeah, got a I'll bunch probably... right here. I got a whole. Yeah, box. I'm gonna print out the label. I'll do that, but I'll start doing those at like ten. You know, you don't have the kids today, right? No, I don't. I have to check out Craig's new video. Craig. Okay, cool. Land sharp picker. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know oh, if there's going to be Mo. I don't. Mo. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of grinding. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of grinding or anything. So. No, it's going to be a uh, thing be noisy again. Yeah, I'm not sure. If it happens, it happens. Don't worry. Yeah, that's what my um, attitude is. So, no worries. Yeah. What's going on, Tom? With a free oh, <laughs> there you go. Get a free sub with Amazon Prime. That's cool. I was watching this morning, um, Drew and Joey, um, they they get to do a little challenge. They went drifting, all, drifting. They went drifting. They went thrifting all day, and they're doing a little challenge. Oh, I didn't know that. Nice. Uh, Drew smart. Drew knows a lot. Sounds like he's always doing something. Oh yeah, yeah. He doesn't. He. I think he's like me. I think he has ADHD. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but uh, we've had this conversation already. So. Yeah, I told you that's not a bad thing. When you're doing this, I think it sort of helps because you're able to multitask. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do multitask. I just do it horribly. I'll end up messing up something, something I think, I think mundane. With, I think you did it really well in the beginning. You know, that's the first time I've seen the new logo with you. That is awesome. This is the first time I've seen it. Oh, the new logo? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, I basically copied somebody else's. But... You know who that is, right? <sighs> the guy from Home Defense? Oh, so Tommy, he's on our show. He, he, he we came up with a name we call Mo Mo. Um, uh, what's it? Mo G. It's not Mo. Well, I call him Mo G, but the guy from Digital Underground was um, something G. I think it's Shock G. Shock G. Shock G. Shock G. Yeah. And, and we used to pick up Mo because he has a big nose. So now that that's so that's what he did. Oh my god, that's funny. That is funny. And we joke around like, oh, yeah, we're going to get Shock G on the show. He ain't worth much anymore. He'll come on a little show like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Still probably worth, like, I think I looked it up. But he got, he's in, he got some, he had some criminal stuff. So he's in the, 
whenever you look him up, you just see that he had some mug shots. Really? Yeah, that's what they do with those guys. They don't put like, oh, they made it out. They just put that they were in jail. They were in jail. Yeah. yeah. I love that pitch, Mo. It worked out because I, I could like uh, add a little bit of color in there too, and then mm-hmm. it's him old. It's like if you look at it closely, it's not a recent picture too. I think it's an older. It's a sorry. It yeah. is a recent picture. It's not an older one. He's oh, all gray in there. He, is it gray? Yeah. So that's why I picked it. So, so it was. A, it's like a re, um, like a redo type thing. I think so. I don't know if it is or if it's just recent, like. He's like, yeah. a, like, so I think I prefer to old. We had this conversation. Um, yeah, since I don't we look were, like a man. We had this conversation when we were driving. You know, a lot of those old artists, they they sort of worth more in the career that they were in than doing nothing. Yeah. So, like, you know, if they go and they do concerts, they're probably making more now. Than they literally in their hand were making before. Oh, I'd say definitely. Like, you know, uh, it's funny you say that because I was thinking about that. Yeah, I don't watch uh, TV that like commercials much. There's a commercial and it has tag team. Remember tag team back again? Those guys, yeah, yeah. they what is it for? Oh, I've seen it. Like a, like, well, you've probably seen it too, Mark. That commercial with the old guys from Whoop There it is, tag team. Oh, like yeah. The, the the two old big black guys now they're in a they're in a I didn't recognize them. I didn't recognize them either until they started singing. I'm like the the music came out. Yeah, I didn't reckon. I'm like no way because those guys. I think they gained a lot of weight for one thing. I, I think we all have though. I mean, I mean, look at Anthony. Let me see. That's. I mean, that was that's got to be like 1993. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is Geico. It yeah. I think I think it is a guy go commercial. But look at Anthony. I mean he, he gained a lot of weight. Man, they look so old. I mean that's to me nineteen ninety three doesn't I don't even recognize so here's my thing with all that is you're seeing all these, especially the older R and B rap guys, you're yeah. seeing them in commercials with remix from the commercial like the guy Shaggy, like Shaggy. Yeah. Shaggy's in the commercial. Yeah. You know, do they have to use them in the commercial? I'm pretty sure they probably said, hey, I mean, it's like a nostalgia thing. It's like people like me and you remember them. And we're the ones that right now are the ones that would be buying cars because, you know, because it's at our age, we're 40 years old. <laughs> well, they, well, they, well, they, relate, <laughs> they relate to us, correct? Yeah. At least Shaggy's somewhat a little bit newer. I would say he's like maybe 10, 15 years old. Yeah. He's not, he's not like these guys. That that was probably like the early 90s, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. I'm going to pull up the, I'm not going to play it, but I'm just in the background. I'm pulling up. Oh, there it is. This is 1993. Oh, we can't play. I'm going to mute for a second. Go for it. See, well, there it is. See, MTV Jams. I remember this song. Uh, I didn't see the year, but I'm pretty sure. But the video right before it is Vanilla Ice. I mean, they were big guys before, but they were. Jeez. 1993 to me doesn't even feel that long ago. But I mean, I'm old, so what can I say? Yikes. That was a long time ago, though. I'm looking through this video. Yikes. Jean shorts and cross colors. We all heard of the rapper. Two chains. Well, now we have snow, snow chains. Yeah. There oh, you go. that's great, Tommy. Oh, I'm gonna oh, hold on. I'm gonna ask Mark on that one. So, Mark, quick question. So, when you go, you know, you live in New England, but you know, when's the last time you used snow chains? <laughs> snow chains. Yeah. 
never. I don't know, Mo. For some reason, he's, he's never used them. Well, technically, I, I didn't use them this time either. I, I mean, I just he tried to. I have so put them on. He was going there because, so he lives in, Mo, you live where? In uh, Sacramento, but we're going to Tahoe. He lives in Sacramento. He was going to Tahoe yeah. with his family two weeks ago. And he was all excited. And he comes out, and he at the thrift shop, he got snow chains. Because he was going to, to go sleep overnight in Tahoe. Tell Mark that he should come here and give him a lesson on how to drive in the snow up north. <laughs> Mark said he's going to give you a lesson on how to drive in the snow in the north. He's like the 15th person. <laughs> oh, it was, but I ride, as some riding on my bonnet. It, it, I'm like, no, please stop. Please throw the, and, and they weren't even, you know the Z ones? And they were all like, you see them at yard sales and they're like raggedy and rusty and sitting on the bottom yeah. of a garage floor for six years or 20 yeah. years. That's what he bought. Oh and then he said that he really tried to put them on. Is this car all wheel drive? It's a, it's a, it's a, um, like a caravan for all wheel drive. So it's all wheel drive. Yeah. <laughs> but it's he's like all, driving with skis. Tom. But he's up west. He doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. When there was, um, when we were in the union together, we would have to, um, we wake up in the morning, like four o'clock in the morning, we'd have to shovel our way out. And then driving, he's always had like big trucks. I had a car for a while. Yeah, yeah. And we'd have to drive, um, you know, 30, 40 miles in the snow to get to work in the morning. And it was no, I can't come in. It was, you know. You, you got to make it. Yeah, yeah, it was frowned upon if you, if you drove. If you called out, you, you know. I couldn't call up, and he couldn't either, because we were both foremen. So I, really, you couldn't call up. So you got up at four in the morning, put your snow chains on. No. <laughs> <laughs> you said you get up four in the morning, put your snow chains on. Yes. No, you put your work boots on. You shovel your way out so your wife doesn't get mad. You get in your van, truck, car, and yeah. you drive thirty miles in the snow. I snowballed the whole yard. Before. Yeah. So. Nice. No, 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 I know. This is California. We get like if it rains. I mean, Tommy says dust storm. No, actually, it's more like rain, and we take the day off. But I mean, that's yeah, how we do it here in California. The snow. Yeah. So they're from like they're from all over. So Tommy. Okay, so they have the the concrete highways in California. So yeah. the oil from the cars gets on the road, and it, it turns into like slick. In, in the in, in the, the rain, rain. So really when they, when they drive in the rain they 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 look and act like they're driving in snow is that it's like us are just like is that true kind of, like, kind of. Yeah, yeah the the freeways here are kind of yeah but it, i mean to be honest i mean i think we make it we do probably make a much bigger deal of it than pretty much everyone else in the country yeah, but yeah I've never been to California. I haven't been past Texas. I haven't been past Texas. No, I have to airports in the other way. But I mean, I've been to Logan Airport. That's you didn't get off the plane. You didn't get off the plane, right? As close as I got to Rhode Island. We we worked. We get off the plane. We both worked in Logan yeah, Airport. We in Logan. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. We we I had friends that worked there when nine one one. And they, they got stuck there. You know, that's the first place I landed when I moved here from London. Landed in Logan Airport, 1986. Came out of the airport. It's a giant Larry Bird poster. And then you liked Larry Bird ever since. Yes, I liked the Celtics ever since. Really? And then I moved to the Bay Area, so I, I picked up the Warriors. So, Well, that's, you know, that's in, in my lifetime, that's considered a traitor. Well. I moved to, Rhode, I moved to South Carolina, and I don't. I don't like anybody different. I still like to see I didn't know. I had to. I'm the kind of person, you know me. If you tell me something, I look it up. So I walk out the plane and say, Who the hell is this guy here with a big smile hold on his on face? A hold, on, hold, on a, hold on a second. You didn't get off the plane. I love doing this to him. You didn't get off the plane in 86 and look up nothing. There was nothing. I didn't say I went on. You looked it up in your pager? You pulled all your Why? pager? I asked who he was. I didn't know who he was. So he you, was in the yellow pages. He was, he was I, I didn't have pages. to go far. He was in the yellow pages. He's like, uh, 
I'd like to know who. I asked the, I asked my cousins. That was it. That was it. Like, how do you, then they're all, how the hell do you not know who Larry Bird is? And I said, well, I don't watch basketball. They didn't have basketball on TV. What am I supposed to say? So that's how I found out who Larry Bird was. I was in Monte Carlo. Wow, Paul went to Monte Carlo. If I was ever nervous about getting stuck, I'd just throw a shovel in the car. <laughs> what? Oh, when I had my Monte Carlo. Oh, I misread it. I thought he said when I was in Monte Carlo. Well, Monte Carlo is better. I used to drive a Civic, so uh, 105 horsepower. Not much there. Oh, I got to tell. I'm sorry, Mo. I'm gonna, it's pick on Mo day today. Go for um, it. What I do now? I got to tell Mark about the water heater. The water heated thing. Oh well, I didn't do it. Another thing I didn't do. I just talked about it. But go ahead. He he needed a water heater, and the guy came to the house. How much did he say? Forty six hundred. Forty six hundred to put in a new water heater. To put in a new water heater. Oh, I know that's what yeah. they're charging. I'm like, no, don't do that. You can go buy one for six hundred. But again, the codes are different. So people were saying that you have to in, out west in certain areas. You have to have. You just have to have a chance. Anyway, you have to have a license plumber put in a hot water thing. Anyway. Really? Yes. Because they have to hook the gas up. Hook the gas up. And you're not allowed to do that. But people do it all the time. Now, you could go buy the tank for cheap or yeah. and pay less in labor. And but, but, probably... I, and I, but I think they were trying to put a new system in this house, too. Yeah. Chris was saying that he's getting a new system in his house. You didn't have a new system in your house yet, did you? No, but the hot waterless, the, the, the waterless, the waterless, waterless tank, it's like endless hot water. I don't, I've seen, yeah, my yeah, my buddy Amon, my buddy Amon had one in his new house. He had it all done over, like his heat and, and his water heater. Mm -hmm. He had the, those new systems. Yeah. You walk in, it's all like perfect. Mm -hmm. It just, I got to get used to it. But it's just hard to get used to it because I'm used to the old boilers and water heaters. And but up here, down here, it's sort of similar because there's the water heaters and stuff are they're small, they're yeah. in the garage, they're not in the basement. Yeah, so <laughs> the shovel was for the body in the trunk. <laughs> yes. Did he have a plumber put in his? He didn't put it in. So another he he's smart. Most cheap. So um, he had another a couple more people check it out, and then the guy said, "It's your. It's not your water heater. It's your. Uh, it's your upstairs bathroom, or something like that, right, Mo?" It was a faucet. He said it's had a pipe to the faucet. It was, like it was a, only coming out of one. It was um, just coming out of one, not all. What do you have a leak? No, it was coming out rusty. Oh, the water was coming out rusty. Yeah. So he had a rusty pipe. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, when yeah, I, I, when I flushed it for a while. More than one. How many guys told you it was the hot water tank? Like two, right? No, it was just one. Oh, just one. It was one guy, but then the second guy said, no, it's not. And then the third guy said, it's not. And then the, I had pg and &E. I said, you know what? I'll just do it for free. I had pg and &E come out, and I, I just lied and said, I think I have a, a gas leak. So he comes out, and he checks out everything. He's like, you, don't have a, you have maybe a rusted pipe or a rusted faucet. And then... Um, Forget about, he said also don't drain your tank. They just tell you that to uh, charge you money. Yeah. And then he said, uh, he said actually the same thing you guys just said. He said that, yeah, you can't change it yourself, but you can do everything yourself and get somebody out to, that has a license to just okay it. So you get someone out with a license and they, they come out, um, I, I'm not wording it properly, but they basically check it and they certify and they give you a cert like a certification. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you said you can't do that by yourself. But the rest you can do. He said you can do the whole thing by yourself. Other well, than that, I told you like my my buddy. Um, I'm sorry if I'm taking over the show today. No, no, no go ahead. I'm I'm getting more in a better mood. So, um, I told you my buddy. I used what I used to always like was a labor, um, a laborer. So I yeah. was mox tender for goodness gracious. Out of the ten years, probably three, like side by side, I was his tender. 
So whatever he needed, I had to get. If he wanted a new, if he wanted new screws and told me to get one, then I'd have to go get screws and go get one. Or a new, no, but seriously, or a new battery or anything that he needed. He, as a carpenter in the unions up up north, there's so many guides and like so you can't you can't like like by right you're not supposed to walk how many feet to a two by four. 50 feet. 50 feet to get a two by four. <laughs> That's how he said tenor. Yeah, within 50 feet, they can't, they have to, like, if, if he his tools for the day, I have to bring his tools. Wow. Minus my tool belt. Yeah, the tool belt he can bring. But everything else is drills, saws, any supplies. That somebody else, the laborers have to grab that. You need it. Yeah. You need a tender, LLG. I'll be your tender, buddy. What do you need? Do you want me to bring your? Do you want me to bring your label maker to you and your labels? Fifty feet, you can't grab your labels. Once you bring. What about, your, what about coffee? I need a coffee. I wouldn't bring his coffee. I, it depends if you would kiss ass or not. If you would kiss ass, you'd bring him coffee. I've done it plenty of times. <laughs> coffee and donuts. Um. But like, and it was, it's so many, there's so many rules because it's like, then if it was a finished product, so say it was cabinets, kitchen cabinets, yeah, yeah. you, you can't touch them as a laborer, the carpenters touch them because it's finished. Unless okay. They're Unless they're wrapped in plastic. Like same, the, with doors. same with doors. Unless the doors are steel. These are all labor union plastic. rules, right? These are all labor union rules. Yeah. Yeah. And it and it it's tough because you know you'll go places and they have people to to make sure you know. Oh yeah, because you're you're talking about the labor. You're talking about big time money. Yeah, a lot of money. So yeah. you, have, I mean, you have your stu you have your shop stewards and stuff. Yeah, I told exactly. Story. I told them all the story. I don't know if you've heard all the stories, but I was telling them about when I was up in Boston and there was this there was a steward and he was taking all the copper. Yeah, and All the copper. He was, yeah, he, they love it when I say copper. No, I think we froze. It's my cop, and he's like, "Oh, I'm the steward. I, I I do what I want." Okay, okay. So I start throwing the copper in the dumpster. Good, right? So he comes and he's he's pissed. He goes to Dean. I was on another one of Dean's jobs. Dean goes, it's in the it's in the barrel. He throws it in the dumpster. I don't know what you guys do on the side. That's between you guys. But his job is to put it from the barrel to the dumpster. So I started taking it, putting it in the dumpster. He got pissed. He didn't go dig it on himself. Hey, like two weeks later, a week later, comes up with an envelope. Hey, do you mind? Do you mind putting it in the pile? I'll split it with you. Because he started realizing he was losing. And then the trades, what the trades were doing is they weren't putting it in the, on the floor. Right. They were saving it. They were like, if Leroy's not getting it, yeah. then, you're not getting then, it. then you're not getting it. Right. So. Right. We've we seen so much. It, it, I could, oh, it's, it's crazy, the stuff you see. Yeah, the unions, I mean, the stewards sometimes, they have a lot of pull, so. Mm -hmm. You gotta, it's not bad. Like I don't. I never say anything bad about it. It's just different lives. It's a different style of work. Yeah. You know, it's just a total different style of work. Yeah. You just gotta go with the flow. Yeah, you gotta go with the. Flow. I had a guy one time. Um, he. I never told you this. He called me. He he was saying the n word in a phrase. And, just to get to you? Well, no, he wasn't saying it to get to me. He, he was saying it because he was stupid. And, and uh, a different, I want to say the name. He was a, a yeah. nationality. And he was he was just, un, I think I'll use a nice word, uneducated. Okay. And, and he was a big time employee. He was with the company forever. And he said, he said, oh, you got to, you, 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 break's over. It's, it's, I mean, it's time for break. You need to. He said, "You're working like a ninja, whatever, right?" And I was like, "Nah, nah." 
no, I, I didn't hear that. You know, people just say stuff bad and they, they don't know what they're doing, so I blocked it out. And then he put a color in front of it. Ugh. And then I lost my mind. My dad's white. My, my dad's black. My family's black. My nan is black. You know, now you you now what you did is you, you put you crossed the line. The first yeah. time I was able to block it out because I just did not want to assume. But now when you put a when you put a color or a special word in front of it, now we're done. So I flipped out. And, a couple, and I didn't say nothing to the boss. I was new. That's when I first met Mark. And I was new. And I didn't say anything to anybody. And one of the other trades heard me get, I, like, you know, I don't get mad often. And he seen me get mad. He went up to the, the thing and said, you need to go check with Leroy. Because Leroy is bugging out upstairs. And I don't know what's wrong with him. And I like the guy. And I don't want him to get in trouble. So he comes up. Yeah. And if they, he found out what was going on. Well, I never told the steward. I got a call from the union hall. Why didn't you report that? I didn't want to be that guy. You yeah. know what I mean? I didn't want to be yeah. that guy. I wanted to be myself. But if you don't report certain things, you can get you can get kicked out. Yeah, because now it's like they're not doing their jobs. Yep. yep. So I mean, it, it, it was so much bull crap. Like I loved it, and I'm blessed that I was there for as long as I was. But there was just so much bull crap. Yeah. You know, now I just gotta worry about the post office doing their job, yeah. and reporting the and reporting to eBay that I screwed up or somebody screwed up. That's the only problems I'm having. Yeah, yeah. No, there's different levels of stuff, especially when you're talking about multi-million dollar, you know, projects, and you know, you got stewards and try, try. Um, and you got. Yeah, you for people to own the try, company. Try five hundred million dollar projects. Exactly, that's crazy. I can't even imagine that. Yeah, yeah. We would we would go to jobs, and they would be, we they would tell us, um, they would tell like like Mark was the cop, and they would tell him build, like say this little cubby, I mean, build ten of these, and they would make them as for the project. They would make them as like shops with shelves and everything. At the end of the project, knock them all down, throw them in the trash. But, but, but you know, I used to think of it; it was waste. But no, they the per, their purpose was a shelter. Their purpose were to hold stock. So you you're not gonna take them and put them. You're not gonna take them and put them in the dumpster or bring them somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, this is my this is Nate. Go for it. Wheeling and dealing. All right, let's. Yeah, Michelle, that was awfully generous. I, I, that's a nice way of putting it too. I would have been pissed too. I'm a little bit like Leroy. They don't really say too much, but you can tell my face when I'm pissed off. Mo, hold the show down a minute. I gotta look up. I gotta look over a tool for Nate. Go for it, man. Do right. what you gotta do. You have to report that crap. You have to think of the next person who tries it up. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. They put kind of put Lee in a tough situation there. But yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, I don't know. That's just, ugh. that's horrible. I don't know, some people. Let's see how. All right, so how's everyone's sales doing? Mine, I can't complain. They've been pretty decent the last couple of days. Actually, I want to say the last 10 days or so. Oh, another offer. Hmm. 
I'm doing this thing where I'm way overpricing things that I know people want, and I'm getting uh, people bidding on them. A report is better than bias. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I don't know. Uh, it's, I see what Leroy is saying. He doesn't want to rock the boat, but you're 100% right. I mean, people have to know about that. It's sickening. Uh, the way he put it was really, I would have been a lot more, I'm, I'm sure he was pissed because he said he was flipping out. That's just not cool. Um, I don't know. And then you have to, on top of that, you have to work in that environment too. So I don't know. Not cool. I don't know how you guys would deal with it, but yeah, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know how to deal with it either. I would be like going over and over it in my head. All right, let's see here. I would knock his teeth out. There you go. There's one way to do it. But I think what Leroy said is he was brand new, so he didn't want to rock the boat, which I I don't, I don't know. Uh, I probably would have made... Knowing me, what I would have done is I would have, I mean, stewed and pissed off for a little bit, and then I would have made a big deal about it somehow because eventually it would have, mentally, I wouldn't have been able to take it for too much longer. I would have flipped like Leroy did. Um, that's, uh, especially, I don't know how close he was, like, like vicinity-wise, like, with that person. I think you get a pass in, on that spot. Yeah. I don't know. That's just crap, though. That's, I mean, uh, I mean, how does someone expect you to work with it? We're talking about the same thing, Leroy. Like, how you? Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I had to step off for a second. No, 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 no worries. We're just. We're just kind of talking about how we would have dealt with the same situation you did. And I probably, I'm similar to you in a, a lot of ways. Like, if I get pissed off, I probably won't say anything right away. You, but you, at, at the, I, yeah, I can't even put myself in a situation, to be you, honest. I mean, you know, the thing that pisses me off even more is I've, in my 10 years, I did 10. He did probably 15, almost 20. I did 20. Yeah, he did 20. I did like 10 a little over 10 and you meet hundreds of people and you're you're literally like counsel them you groom them you do like you see them more than your own family yeah and out of all the people that i've met that i've been close with i've literally only been really close friends with like mark like everybody else like they just they could give to Hold on. Go for it. Yeah, I guess whatever you do, you know, just get through the day sometimes. Most of the places I worked before, other than having businesses, is I worked with a group of people for a long time, at least a couple of years. So it was the same group of people. So if I didn't get along with them, that was going to be tough. And uh, I don't know. It, I don't know. I don't know how you guys deal with it when you don't get along with someone at work. Eventually something spoils over. And mine was kind of like a – mine was more like a, an office environment. But people are people. People are all the same. You got good guys, you got bad guys. You got, you know, jerks like the guy Leroy was talking about, and, you know, you got other guys. I feel like I'm, like, triple tasking today. Go for it, man. I, I got, can't even single task. I got Nate I got Nate asking me two questions on the phone. Oh, you need some help? I mean, I can, I can tell you. You, know. <laughs> you need some help? You're going to help us? <laughs> you, gonna, you, you got some? You're going to help? Now, when anyone when it comes to like power tools, they get they're starting to do work now. When it comes to power tools and like cutting like woodwork and angles and cabinets, 
that's the guy over there. Mm. Mark, Mark. Like he, that's what he did for years. So like we, we did a job recently last year and uh, we, it was, dude, it was so horrible. That's why anybody, any of you guys in the chat, I mean, I know a lot of you guys know, but and Mo, and this is showing with Mo too, Mo, Mo showed, gave the example, always get a second or third opinion because if you go with someone, don't get just one opinion. There was this young lady, she was a single mom. She had some extra money to put into her apartment and she hired these guys. And Mark and I went over there, Mark is shaking his head. We had to go over there. Now, these guys did everything in about eight days. It took Mark about 18 days to get everything fixed. Oh my they, goodness. They, they were hanging cabinets with four screws. Trim heads. Tr just trim head screws, tiny little trim head screws, and then they had like four of them in there. It's about to it fall was, down there. Uh, uh, if, they, if there was any weight in it, they would have fell down. Wow. Yeah, the low, the low in the cab, the lower cabinets were out of level, out of. Then these guys were calling themselves professionals, and they were charging her with a professional will charge her. You sure you weren't in California? Yeah, that's what they do here. Oh, I bet you that's what they do here too, but that's not what they do up north. You have any to uh, pitch? No, not in that folder. To make a shot. No. How's my work holding up over there? I haven't talked to her. She messaged me, and I, I think she's just going through stuff. I haven't heard from her either. I think if you're I think if you're not hearing from her, then you're fine. I heard from her like a couple of times when I first left. Yeah. yeah. Good morning there, Cameron. Please, Cameron. What's going on? See, now I like Cameron's new picture. He has the logo look like he's spitting it out like Bleh, YouTube. Bleh. He's looking. Are you yelling at the YouTube thing? He's yelling at the YouTube. There you go. Well, thank you for calling us your, your favorite uh, morning show dudes. Is there another? There's only one. This is the only morning show there is. There is another one. It's us and, and Howard Stern. There's no other morning shows in the United States. Only Howard Stern, but is he even oh, still? Oh, just Howard Stern. Yeah. I think we're about as big as Howard Stern, though. I don't know. We're about as big as Howard Stern. Huh? Our morning show is about as big as Howard Stern. Is it? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. We have uh, how many followers right now? 12. 12. 12? Yeah. Not 1,200. 12. He probably has like twelve thousand. No one he, there. He, he has, he, he has like twelve hundred thousand that dislike him. Yeah, exactly. Is this the segment of Sleepy Teaches Mo Home Improvements One Hundred and One? Yeah. For one time, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not the only one that's a little bit tired today. Hey, tell, tell, uh, tell. T why don't you tell Cameron that I said? I like his basketball picture on Instagram because Cameron can't hear me. Yeah. <laughs> I need to check that out. Oh, you're talking about like the video he did? Yeah, that was funny. That yeah. Was funny. Oh, that song got stuck in my head the whole day. Oh, my goodness. Now, what do you call I wish I was a little bit taller. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do some of my shipping right now. So I'm going to move the phone. I'm in the computer. Yeah. Same right. thing, actually. Go for it. Go for it. I think Victoria from from Adventures with Victoria might have a morning show. Not sure if y'all following that. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, you guys were up late last night. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Let's see here. It's going well, man. Going well. A little bit, as usual. I always complain about being tired. I'm always tired. What can I say? But sales have been decent. 
I've been watching some of your videos though. Very, very, and uh, I already said this, but congrats about him, 2K. That's awesome. Your videos are good though. I like them. I'm, I'm tempted to go to Walmart. I don't really go to Walmarts and uh, retail arbitrage much, but I might now. Uh, usually I only do it in the fourth quarter, but you know, why not now? It feels like it's starting. It feels kind of like the fourth quarter right now, to be honest. Where's Holly and Anthony, Tommy and Tracy? Uh, I mean, everyone's here. I think we've been half asleep this whole show. We probably lost half our people. I was getting my rib put back in place. Ow. Oh, my goodness. That sounds painful. Ugh. That's no fun. <laughs> Appreciate that. Your sales taken off because I think so. Because my stuff is not like your stuff is new stuff. You're buying brand new. My stuff is all vintage, but I'm selling like more expensive vintage stuff. I, I literally had someone message me say, Oh, okay, I can pay for this next week when my stimulus check comes in. Um, the second they pay for it. So, I mean, I'm kind of, I mean, I don't say anything. I don't say, yes, you can. I just say, oh, okay, that should be okay. You know, uh, I try and be as polite as possible. But, you know. When? That's true. <laughs> polite for me. Maybe not polite for the average person. No, I said when people say, can I... Uh, oh, nice. I sold a, a PS2 console yesterday, actually. Um, no, when people say, oh, can I, they buy it and immediately message me, oh, I, I get my stimulus check next week. Um, can I pay for it then? So I don't want to say no, but at the same time, I say something like, well, that should be okay if it's just, you know, a few days. I'll say something like that. I never get those messages. I get I, get, them. I, I, get I only them. get them like, recently, but yeah. Here's the messages I get. I get, I just purchased this. You have 500 things in your store. Um, please give me a few minutes. I just want to look at the rest of the stuff before I cash out. <laughs> That's what I get. A few minutes? Mike, I wish it was a few minutes. Mine's like a week here, four days there, five days there. Um, and after four, if they don't message me after 48 hours, I'm putting, I have an auto thing. Um, like like soccer prizes and stuff. If there's anything else that I need, I'm going to close out in like a half hour. That's the messages I get. Yikes. <laughs> half hour. I wish it was half hour. That'd be great, half hour. Mine's like three, like I said, three to five days a week. Never. They never come back. We Sports still goes for 25 bucks with the manual. That's crazy. We Sports is so common, but you're right. It goes, I, I, sold a, I used to sell a lot of that on FBA, but now eBay is pretty good too. You sell, Anthony, you sell on FBA too or, or Amazon, like Merchant Fulfilled, or just eBay for video games? Libre's got a new setup. They changed the angle of the camera. Been selling a lot of video games on eBay, Amazon this week. People buying essential. All right, let me ask you this, Justin. You do a lot of Walmart uh, sourcing. Do you see it like around, especially around this time of year, you see a lot of the Discounted yeah, the yellow tags at Walmart where they discount video games From like every now and then I'll go there Especially if it's like out of, out of the way Walmart and they'll have like Tiger Woods 2005 sealed uh, But like if when I was in the Bay Area there was not like the discounts that I got were crap like it would be a I don't know. It'd be going on FBA for like, you know, nineteen ninety nine or something like that. And the price was like nineteen ninety seven or something like that. So yeah, exactly, Cameron. I want one of those messages. Sold out Wii Sports in two hours. Nice. eBay and Amazon. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's I don't do as much FBA as I used to because last year I stopped setting stuff in, but I'm getting back into that. I cannot live without my Mario Smash Brothers video game. Essential entertainment. You sound like my son, Cameron. Not that yeah, I'm that old, but he that's one of the because we don't really let my kids have video games. So my son's newest console is a original Wii. 
So one of the games he plays on there is Super Smash Brothers. So, I mean, he plays like Minecraft on the PC and stuff, and like Roblox, but uh, video game, video games, he hasn't been exposed to that yet that much. I only do eBay Macari. Okay. How's Macari? I, I kind of ignored them a little bit recently. I'm not selling as much. I'm, I'm focusing more on Amazon and FBA and um, eBay, excuse me. I found a lot of discounted video games last month. Some were as cheap as... I never get those three cent games. I've never seen that ever. I see like, you know, sometimes I'll see like like a dollar game or like one, two, they're usually not like uh, PS2 or Xbox. They're usually like PC games, like, you know, a hundred greatest, you know, card games, something weird like that sealed. I'm loving Warzone right now. I'm not sure what that. Oh, I I don't really play video games. Is that? Uh, yeah, I, I've sold a bunch. But the fur I've noticed the further out you go, so the more the rural uh, Walmart or Target is, the better the stuff. I don't know about you guys, um, but the more like metropolitan, the more downtown. The bigger the city, the better the thrift stores are. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. When I first started finding discounted video games at Walmart, I hit every store I could. Within a couple of days, the word had got out, and they were mostly good. Yeah. I, especially when I was you know, around San Francisco, San Jose, it's tough. You got Topher stealing all the games, man. But um, no, in all seriousness, I don't really find that much new stuff you have to go to like estate sales garage sales and then you get stuff but like at the stores people are, are they're out there before i am they use like um brick seek and stuff like that and then brick seek is always off so i started calling stores this is when i did more ra i'd call target i call walmart they they're always clueless they just go by what's listed online but i don't know do you ever know what you're finding, Justin, before you get there? Because I know you scan when you're there, but do you know what it, ever know? Or Anthony, too. I don't know if you do this, but do you ever go looking because you think that a certain store has something? That's why we don't see people doing FBA videos. They kill their own market. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I don't do very much FBA right now, but um, when I did before, I did a lot of video games. I mean, I don't think that's much saying much there. Um, like when that whole, was it NCAA, was it 2013, 2014? I remember searching for those for, and I found quite a few of them. Um, I put 175 in the one. You 175? I put 175 in the 176 bin, and it took me a minute to find it. I put it in the wrong bin. No. I, somebody should call the steward and get me fired. I know, dude. You're not following proper protocol. You're no. going to get written up now. Oh, yeah, exactly. I do FBA videos, and when I sell my product first, to put into storage before tanking the market. <laughs> yeah, but at least like what Justin does, a lot of the, um, the videos are like, you're, what you're showing is like Lego. And I know, you know, maybe you see the set, but um, I don't know. It, it's, it's not like you're saying which specific Lego set every time. Like you said, you do the video first. I mean, you sell it before. I do look at Brixie before going, but Brixie is super exactly I always found it was unreliable. I, I'll go in with a mental list of what, yeah. Mo, Mo, that's okay. I already got written up at the warehouse anyway. So. <laughs> that's what the attitude's for. Yeah. There you go. That's the best. That's It's like a mental write-up. Just turn it on the grinder there or whatever the hell they're doing back there. Making frames. 
Exactly. Yeah, BrickSeek for me has been hit. You ever use BrickSeek, Leroy? No. no. Well, you don't do any RA, so. I yeah, it's really not. Sell, I don't really sell on eBay. It, it's just, um, it's a front. It's a front. There you go. Yeah. We, Same here, I, man. I don't either. Why do you think I don't do any listing on the show? <laughs> Why most videos are just a process of, yeah, I agree. Yeah, no, but Justin's one of the few people that actually shows. I mean, every now and then you'll say, oh, I had a giant FBA haul, a giant Amazon haul. But that's usually like an Amazon returns palette or something like that. Uh, or shoes. The other one would be shoes. I've had people asking me for some videos showing how to process FBA, prepping, shipping. I need to quit slacking. Yeah, I mean, I don't see... To be honest, I'm. that's a good point. There aren't that many videos of people showing how to do an FBA ship. If people, more new people knew about that, they'd say that's super easy. You see, like, everything you're doing there, Leroy, you're doing like an FBA prep right now. Because you basically do the whole shipment up front. You send it in and you're done with it. So. Yeah, but you don't have the bubble wrap and stuff. They need to see it. You it do just goes in a plastic bag. Look, sometimes you do. Let's just say it's like a... Like sometimes it will like pop up in the screen and will say this needs to be boxed or this needs to be, you know, fragilely packed or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it can only be so transparent. You don't have to give away stuff that's, especially uh, Justin's doing new products. You don't want to shoot yourself in the foot too. I understand that, but I mean. But me and Leroy mainly do stuff that's older and used, so. What happened? Oh, used, yeah. Yeah. Are you saying I'm used or my items are used? Both. Um, Same here, and no, I don't feel bad. I'm running out of, like, everything. I have... No bags. I'm running no out of labels. I only have two two uh, rolls of labels left, and I used. I'm not. I'm not the person that pays for labels. I used to get them for free, but I haven't used my UPS account in oh, eight, over eighteen months. I mean, I've used UPS, but I used to have my own account, and I get all that stuff for free. You have to pay for labels. I haven't paid for labels. Uh, I ever. did. I I told you I paid for my labels, remember? I've never paid for labels ever, ever, in 20 years. I have, like I showed you, I have the old labels that have... The, the extra part? Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> uh, Amazon has tons of videos on processes that nobody watches. Yeah. Amazon, I mean, I don't know. You can make a lot more on Amazon, but... Uh, it's not as I, interesting. See, I don't see that. See, I don't see that because I see people buying stuff for like ten dollars, and then they get five dollars. They make five dollars off of it, and I mean, yes, if they buy fifteen of them, then yes, they just made a hundred dollars or a hundred and fifty dollars. But that, I could buy yeah. one thing for eight dollars and sell it for three hundred. Well, the difference is the velocity on Amazon. You can see, like, I have a sales rank. You can see the sales velocity. It will sell faster. So that, you know, that video game that you sell on eBay, I mean, not every time, but a lot of times on Amazon will sell faster, especially if it's a low rank. Um, so, yeah, but they take their, it's probably like 30% by the end of the day when you include yeah. the shipping costs, the Amazon costs, all the other fees. They take more, but it sells faster. So it's kind I, of a trade off. I do have a question. Um, I probably, I'm going to ask you now, but yeah. I was going over with my, um, I guess somebody I'm working with to try to figure some stuff out. And um, they would like, know your eBay fees. So when we have our eBay fees, um, you know how like they just change it to now it's almost 80% of the fees they do. It does come out before you receive payment. Yeah. Now they've changed that. Yeah. So it wasn't like that about a month ago, but no. now they changed it. 
So the only thing you're paying for is if you make the that um, U.S. Uh, FedEx shipment. That still doesn't come out. That you pay for. And I, I don't know about promoted fees, like promoted listings. There might be one. I don't know. I haven't, to be honest, I haven't read the fine print, but I think you're right. Um, I think it's pretty much just if, you know, any non-USPS shipper, so UPS. And, and there's no way to set that up where they do take everything out, right? Because no, because they get charged it after. It ends up being final sale price. Yeah, because the problem is that, let's just say you send something on FedEx and you get the price, the weight wrong and the dimensions wrong. So you you told eBay that it's, you know, it's going to cost them 20 bucks when it's actually going to cost you 40 bucks. So they're just covering themselves because they have to pay a monthly bill to FedEx, I'm guessing, and UPS every month. So so, so now that you have the new setup, I just paid my final one for the old setup. Do you, have you, like, I mean, I was paying, you know, hundreds of dollars. I know some of you guys pay thousands, but I'm not that guy. But yeah. I was paying hundreds of dollars, and now um, I pay, like, it, 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 I think, like, a month now it's like 120 150. Okay. Did yours go down drastically too or yours not even that high cuz you have a bigger store than me. <sighs> Hold on, let me go on and I can probably look that up. I don't think it went down drastically. It went down a lot. Um good morning Carter. How's it going, man? Um It went down. Um, I mean, I don't think it went down by like. Yeah, it went down quite a bit. So if you were paying before three or four hundred dollars into them, now you're only paying a buck and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do. Mine's kind of hit and miss when I use FedEx when I do promote it. But a couple of things have changed though for me because promoted listings. Am I doing those still? Yeah, no, I am still doing promoted listings. So I'm wondering if the promoted listings are still part of that. I I don't know if Tommy's around. Um, I haven't seen him. I haven't really been looking at the chat. But Tom, if you're listening in the back, if there's any way you can clarify, I wicked appreciate it. If not, it's okay. I understand you're busy. But I'm I just because I'm trying to go through some stuff with, you know, understanding that so I can. There's more stuff that they take out on the daily, but um, yeah. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get a breakdown. All right. Let's see all account activity. You're talking about Amazon, please. No, I think uh, Leroy was talking about how eBay, eBay started um, with managed payments. Now, uh, the daily fees they take out, he was trying to figure out um, what they take out now because it looks like they take more out on a daily basis uh, than they did before.
I just figure the eBay fees to be 15% average. I haven't seen more than that. Also, not I mean, yeah, that's basically what it is. 15% give or take. <coughs> I figure the eBay is to be 15% average. I think um does um Topher and all those guys have their show today? It, I think it is today. I think so, yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Uh oh, what happened now? Look what I just wrote. I was going to do my ounces, and this is what I wrote on my package. You're asking them for 14%? Because <laughs> I, cause I, I just looked down and you had 10% across the screen. So yeah. it was 14 ounces when I measured it. And yeah. instead of writing. <laughs> Now I'm, now, now I'm taxing. Now I'm taxing FedEx. Or, uh, there you go. Tax them all. Yep. I'll tell you, last night I went and looked at my phone because I haven't really been paying attention to it much for having people in town. And, uh, oh, my God. I'm like, oh, my God. I, I've been missing a lot. <laughs> It's only been three days. You've been missing a lot? Yeah, because, you know, certain shows and, and you know, stuff on YouTube. And I'm, I'm looking at my YouTube and my Instagram. I'm like, oh, my goodness. I, three days, I feel like I missed six weeks. No, oh, that's okay. You're not obligated to watch everybody's stuff. Uh, but, you know. I was getting messages. Where are you? I was like, if you watch the morning show, you'll know what's going on. <laughs> it goes both ways. You can say the same when thing. When you're though. active like me, anything yep. after, and it, imagine if I did it for a week. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm not too active, so. Oh, we know this, Mom. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where do you know this? Trying to figure out if the shirt is vintage or not. I don't think it is. We're working over here. Oh, I got a lot of sales today so far. Nice. Zero. Oh. They'll come. People are buying right now. They're spending their money. Get those listings up because people are spending on eBay everywhere, actually. Amazon, yeah. too. Yeah, my brother just got his uh, stimulus. What did I do? I hey, know, man. What you do? I printed one label instead of all of them. I drank too much. How much is too much? I'd be interested to know. What's your limit? Too much is what? So, camera said you had too much to uh, drink last night. Oh, I'm curious what Cameron's limit is. All right, forty-six beers, seventy-two beers. It's mine is mine is my cutoff is ten a.m. to seven a. So ten a.m. to seven p.m. That was my cutoff. So you don't have a count, like a drink count. You just keep going. No, that was my cutoff. But I started drinking waters. I drank a ton of water. I, my problem is, I when I'm by myself, I can control myself. But when you have other people, um, for me, I worry too much about other people and like what they do or what they say. If they're in my town or they're under my control, they're away from their wives or families, and they're with me. So yeah. I sort of feel like I have to make sure that that nothing happens while they're with me. I'm not their father, but at the same time, you have to respect that person's yeah. other life. Yeah. So, like, with me, it's like, now I'm not just worrying about Leroy, I'm worrying about everybody else. So, that's why it's actually been super stressful for me because my brother Chris, I'm good, but, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's just tough wearing a ball, everybody. So, yeah, you, you're naturally the the one that takes care of people. Well, that's but a good it's, thing. it's hard though, because it's like you know you want to you want to take care of everybody, but you you get you know you also got to respect what you built up. So I can't have you come visit me and you get tanked out of your mind. And then make me look bad in the places that I got to go back to tomorrow. Either it's the warehouse or it is my pizza place or coffee shop or whatever. Mm -hmm. Down here is a lot different than up north. A lot of people up north, they can deal with the, the sly comments and stuff. Down here, they don't understand it. So it's automatically an insult. 
Yeah. I mean, I think that, yeah, you got to be careful, especially you're talking about your work here, you know, somewhere you're going to have to come back to. Yeah. I mean, no. you don't want to screw things up, so. Oh, nothing happened. It's more me. But I just, you know, I it's tough as it is. And I just don't like the stupid stuff that I see. So I'm not dumb. Like, I'm not four. I'm 46 years old. So when you put a fucking broom in front of the door to see if I'm using the back door, that's just fucking stupid. Excuse my language, Mo. Yeah. Yikes, a bottle of wine by yourself. What'd you say? Apparently, somebody had a bottle of wine by herself. I think they were talking about the, on the Nana Tinks show yesterday. Uh, well, they, how they share a bottle of wine? I, I mean, I'm sure she had it already. So I, mean, I think they put it through the phone. <laughs> they virtually sent her. Yeah. Virtually uh, they they the both have, um, what do they call those? A thermal printer? Yeah. Thermal. Oh, uh, 3D printing. 3D, 3D printed, printed, yeah. Wine. They do yeah. they 3D printed the uh, there you go. She was celebrating. I saw she got monetized too. It just wasn't a thousand. Uh, she had ads on there, so good for her, man. When we went to the um when we went to the uh the place yesterday, the um the moonshine, the moonshine place. Yeah. Um they had little samples. And they give this little tiny sample. Sample of what? Like, sample of moonshine. Ugh. Did you try it? Yeah, I tried four of them. And would you? Oh, so you liked it that much, huh? No, they, they, they're this small. They were tiny. They're different flavors. But there's said, different fl wait, moonshine, moonshine flavor. It's, I thought it was just one flavor. Gross. No, no, no. My brother bought. Um, a, hold on one second. <laughs> something to celebrate oh yeah i think it had five six beers and that was too much for this way i'm with you cameron if i had that much you'd see me on the floor and then the worst is the next day i mean this is me without having anything imagine if i had five to six last night right now it would have been uh Really out of it. My my brother bought like um my brother bought like um like like four or five like cookies and cream, um cinnamon. Does it taste like cookies and cream? I mean I they can understand cinnamon, but uh, they do. I didn't try the cookies and cream. Okay. But I tried a couple of the others. And it so, was it was full strength, you know, one ninety proof. I think they're. I don't think they're that high. He said that the the main one was one twenty. okay. Here's the thing. We used to. What was that? Uh, Bacardi. What's one fifty one? That would be the one that we would have if we wanted to just be quick, straight. You know, uh, what is the proof on that? Is it 151? Yeah, it's 151. That would be the one, and that tastes like lighter fluid. It doesn't taste good, but uh, it gets you where. Let's just say it gets to gets you to where you want to be fast. Yeah. And they all carry it, like most places carry it. So um, it's similar. That's the closest thing I've had to moonshine. <laughs> Apple pie flavor. I've seen it, but never tried it. Yeah, interesting. No, never had that. Interesting.
Let's see, it's, uh, I have a shirt. The tag is all ripped. I'm trying to figure out if this is vintage or not. I don't think it is. Why did someone give you a thumbs down? We get at least one thumbs down every time, sometimes two. And I used to joke and say that one's, it, one's for me, and then if Leroy feels bad, he'll give a second one. But uh, I don't know. That's it's okay. It all equals out to the same thing. Thumbs up, thumbs down. In YouTube's eyes, I think it, it it's the same thing. It shows that someone's engaging with your content. So more power to you. Uh, that's fine. It's actually kind of funny. I mean, I, we don't get that many thumbs up or thumbs down. So, but yeah, I don't get too riled up by it. I get at least one thumbs down on every video now. I have at least one hit. <laughs> that means you made it, Justin. I mean, the more hit, I mean, if you look at like, say, uh, even Craigslist Center, I'm sure gets a thumbs down or a bunch, but then he'll get like a thousand thumbs up. So I'm sure you get a tons of thumb. You get, you know, a bunch of people thumbing up your video. So thumbs down. Oh, well. At least they clicked on your video. That's the way I see it. Wow, these are horrible pictures I took. My goodness. You ever go back after you've taken shots and you say, wow, how did I not see that? It's either damage to something or just a really badly lit or an unfocused uh, picture. Every now and then. Oh my goodness. This is a flat lay that I have on. It's just, uh, I think I have to retake these. These are gross. Not good. I've been getting a lot of salt on my latest video. Eight thumbs down. People were upset I bought so many Legos. Then why are they watching? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. You're an obvious reseller. You're. <laughs> You're called the flipping accountant. That means you flip stuff. So I don't know if they are confused about what they're watching. And you're pretty consistent with your content. So people know what it's about, I would assume, by now. Uh, it's People are funny. Take that as a compliment that maybe it's people that are just, um, I don't know, maybe they sell Lego. And I, I hear that a lot from people like, if they sell the same thing you do and they don't like you talking about it. Um, that's an Amazon thing. Yeah, that's, that's totally an Amazon thing. Um, it's like, a, you know, your videos, you don't give away anything that um, that's going to hurt anybody. You're just helping people. So I wouldn't worry too much. Just mad because they didn't buy them first. Exactly. I, to be honest, you do get, you find stuff that's better than what I would find. So I'm happy for you. I wish I found that stuff, but I've never thumbs down someone just because of that. I don't think I've ever even I've I've watched plenty of videos from other people that I didn't think were that great. Most of them are my own, but I've never thumb it, thumb it down. One time I thumbed down my own video just to see what it felt like. That was funny. But yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just whatever. These people are dumb. Yeah, I don't understand Commonwealth picker, the people that go on there. And, um, I, I don't understand that. He seems like the nicest person. Um, yeah, I don't understand people. I think people just, you know, feel like they can, you know, it's keyboard warrior type mentality. And you're not even typing at that point sometimes, just a thumbing down. You don't even have to, you know, say your name. And that's the problem, because I feel that if they had to say their name, half of them wouldn't do it. Yeah. It's because you called it Legos. It's Lego. Brits will roast you for that. Okay. 
<laughs> no, I think the, they'll they'll be more jealous. I mean, I think we get better. I mean, I shouldn't say that. In England, they get good stuff too. But I think in the U.S., we kind of have more access to stuff than other countries. So maybe, but I don't think so. I think I think people in the U.K. love uh, American resellers. To be honest, from what I've seen. Oof. Made that mistake once. Someone roasted me. Like, oh, just so you know that your vehicle inspection, I mean, your vehicle warranty is. Um, expired again? Yeah. It's, it's just the third time today. Yeah, I, I constantly misspeak and miss, you know, I, I stumble over my words. That's my whole thing. Like, I went back and I watched one of my uh, videos after I edited it yesterday. I don't even know what one of the words, or actually multiple words I was saying was. It was a big mess, big jumble. So I don't even worry about that. I thought it was good. Oh, you did? Thank you. Yeah, this guy popped up. He had like a TikTok video. I got stuck in the middle of my video somehow. I don't know how that happened. But... Did you happen to catch that? No. No. Oh. It's somewhere in the middle there. You'll see. It's, it flashes on the screen real fast. I watched it too to see if I saw anything, and I didn't. I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched a little bit. It's probably towards the middle. Um, I'm I'm afraid of putting uh, like anything with audio, so yeah. I usually just have pictures and stuff. Uh, Paul, yeah. Is Paul, um, Paul? I got a Paul going to California. You got what going to California? A Paul. Oh, okay. I got a Paul going to California. Uh, he's in Philadelphia, though, I think. Well, or this must be his brother, then. This is a different Paul? Okay. His brother's called Paul, too. <laughs> People watch my channel because I make fun of myself. You can't just... Well, Anthony, you can do 200 push-ups and make fun of yourself. That means you're not only in shape, but you're like a zen-like figure. You're calm. Can't make fun of me more than I do to myself. Yeah, that's the attitude. Best way to get comments is to pronounce words wrong. Well, then I should be getting lots of comments. <laughs> Being critical is the American way. There you go. Best offense is a good defense. I guess so. Like Eminem in the last rap battle of yeah, eight mile. There we go. That's true. Make fun of yourself. Now, wasn't he rapping against the Falcon from the Marvel movies? He didn't watch it. <laughs> I'll have to go and watch that video more. Uh, it's not eh, it's nothing fancy. My my crude editing is just me uh, cutting and posting pictures of Leroy and that. Like saying things like jerk and forget about it. That's forget about, about it. it. Forget about it. Exactly. Also, I've been slacking. I know, Cameron, we're waiting for a new TikTok video. You need to do one that's better than that one that you did. Let me see. You got a couple good ones, actually. Uh-oh. He's busting out the knife. I'm and ready. Leroy needs a new TikTok, too. I'm ready to use it. I'm ready. Uh -oh. I don't hear anything, though. Huh? I don't hear anything. It's not that. It's some other stuff. I'm ready to no, use it. No, no. All right. Put it down. Put it away. And then... Oh, okay, I'm so ready, Mo. Exactly, Justin. That's why I just make fun of myself for being short. I'm right there with you, Cameron. I'm not on the tall side either. Being short is best. Yeah, you're close to the ground. Hey, all the best soccer players in the world, uh, or most of them were short. Pele, uh, Maradona, and those guys did well. I think all the curse. Yeah. Can't say I don't. Uh, I'm right there. Hey, you're on YouTube. You're only about a foot tall. No, no more than like a foot and a half tall on YouTube. You know, 18 inches. That's max. Now, maybe you know, Justin's a little bit taller because he walks around in his videos, but I've sat down the whole time. Debating whether to take this off or not. 
Maybe I'll just take it, get rid of it, move on. I should just take it. What are you taking? No, I have a T-shirt. It's beaten up and old and dirty. It's got new tags. I thought it was vintage, but I'm not so sure now because the tags ripped in half, so I can't really tell. Yeah. Don't worry, the little stuff. Yeah. Well, oh, there's my friend, and I haven't talked to her in like a couple of days. Hi, Holly. I know Holly's there. Don't change uh, your name. Six two. Um, uh, I'm si I'm I'm six two as well. If you subtract five inches. So right. we so we measured so we measured the other day when Chris and Mark were here. Okay. I'm, I'm seventy two inches and a half. So you're six seventy two inches. So you're six six and a half inches. Six foot one half inch. Yes. Same here. If you subtract about one, two, three, yeah, three and a half inches. So I'll be sixteen nine inches. Yes, as tall as Kevin Hart. Hey, Kevin Hart uh, is doing pretty well now. So, well, his height his height is a little stunt, but his financial uh, pocket is pretty big. So, uh, I mean, I'll be a midget. For <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> there you go. So you don't you don't have to worry about it then. You got your son there. You're six five. My goodness. Don't put things on the top shelf. From <laughs> there you go. There's Anthony with the uh, common sense answer. That's it. Ooh, I got a reward from Cinemark Theaters. Nice. Yeah, I used to have one of those movie pass thingies. And then obviously they shut down all the movie theaters, so I don't have that anymore. Uh huh. Uh -huh. As tall as Betty White and Seth Green. Oh, and Daniel. I didn't know Daniel. Oh, so Harry Potter is really short? But then again, he's always like 12 years old in those movies. So you haven't seen any of the Harry Potters, I'm guessing, right? Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> I saw. I saw the book one time at the bookstore. There you go. Yeah. I fell asleep I read, during the first. I one. read it too. You did? Yeah, it said Harry Potter, Volume Sixteen, author, blah 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 blah. <laughs> volume Sixteen. Yeah, that must be a new one. <laughs> I think there's only like eight of them. I, I mean, I'm surprised he's not up to 107. Hey, I heard about that, the, the author. She was dead broke, I want to say, 20, 25 years ago. Really? Yeah, and now she's a billionaire. So you oh, need to start writing that book, man. Listen, if I wrote a book, you guys would be bored. Hey, I, if, I think if you wrote a book, it'd be good. I'll have to make the donuts. It would be, it would be about as big as the Bible. There you go. That means you got a lot to write about. Take it well, easy, yeah. Cameron. Take care, Cameron. Thanks for hanging out today. You have a great day at work. I know. Movie Pass was awesome. Some of it lasted. It's like, uh, I forget what. It's nine ninety nine unlimited. You can see as many movies as you want. And then they figured out that people were actually going to use it, and then they got in trouble. I don't know what it was. I can't remember the exact price. Does anyone remember how much Movie Pass cost? And it was only like 18 months ago. I think it was 2018 and 2019, maybe a little bit longer. I don't know. The first print is worth a lot. First print is worth a lot. Okay. Hey, I'm looking at something that I have. Okay. And I've never seen this before. And I, I have this. I've had it for years. But I've never seen this typing. It says, I K Japan. It's I K J A P A N. I've never okay. seen that before. Have you? Is that a brand? No, oh. it's 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 instead of saying Japan, I don't see. I don't think you. I don't think you're gonna get it. Okay, I K Japan. And you're wondering. I mean, I guess it was just made there. Yeah, I know it was made in Japan, but I've never seen I K in front of it. You can see it. It's pretty clear. I'm looking it up right now. No, I can see it. It is a company. IK is a marketing manufacturer that provides total internal solutions. So it's a pretty big company. They're everywhere. 
Okay. Like. Okay. So that's just their name in front of the. the yeah. Stuff. It's like, you know, I don't know. Craftsman. Or, I don't know. You zooming in? I think I need those. My eyes are going. She was broken on welfare and now she's rich and famed. Yep. Yeah. I think I she, she was like knighted or whatever you call the female equivalent to being knighted. By the queen. I think she's a dame now. I think you call that. First print Harry Potter book. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, you're right. If you find a first print Harry Potter book, so if you open up the first page and it says first print, that's worth a lot. Some of them go for, I've seen, let me see, a couple brand at least. I don't know if they still go for that because yeah. a lot of people sell them now. Yeah. First prints. First edition, okay, is. Wow, one sold for 13 grand. Wow. Hardback first edition, second print. It's like red. But then I've seen some that didn't as well. I've seen some that sold for like in the hundreds. I think I made it big time. I think. Yeah, so some of these don't sell for that much. How the hell did that guy sell for thirteen thousand dollars? You know, I feel that sometimes it's it's like a friend buying it, even though like they gotta pay the thing. I think it's just I do, because I seen. I'm not gonna get into it. Hey, Look, what is going on? Look who's in the chat, Derek. Derek. Derek, Derek, he's the man. If Derek can't do it, nobody can. What's up, Derek? How you doing, buddy? No, no, no percentage. He said the other day, he goes, I don't know. He goes, no more percentage. He was good. He don't charge me percentage. Oh, man, I gave up on that. Why are you charging 25% then? I'm not charging char you. I'm not charging Derek anything. Uh, all right, I'll drop it down. You know why? Why? I've been waiting so long for it. I'm I'm never going to see it. it. The interest is going to get so high, it's going to be like that that bill that you'll never, ever pay off. So yeah, I, exactly. don't do that I don't want to do that to him. Then I'll put a lien on his business and a lien on his house. and Then I got to call. You're going to put a lien on Derek's house? Like yeah. He's been in here for a whole five seconds. You're putting a lien on his house? If, if it got too bad, that's why I stopped it. <sighs> this is why he doesn't show. This is why he doesn't show up to a show anymore. Oh, that's right. He's family now. Yeah, he is. He is family now. But I'm just explaining. I'm not. Don't make it put it out of proportion. I'm not going to do any of that to Derek. <laughs> uh, what time? Let me see. They're on at one o'clock today, right? And that is. Let's see here. Let me go. It's four is not like four. Four Eastern. I'm sorry. For you, it would be four o'clock. I think. Um, no, yeah. So I think half of our audience. No, I think it's half and half. I think half of our half of our audience is Eastern. Probably. Let me see. Yeah, here. I think half is Eastern. A few are well, Central. Everyone. Well, I know that Derek's on the West Coast. I'm on the West Coast. Holly's on, on the, the West East Coast. Coast. Uh, Holly's um, in uh, Florida. Yeah. Anthony's right in the middle, Missouri. Tommy's on the East Coast. Wait, what's Missouri time? What is that? Um, That's central. Central, okay. I think I could be wrong. Justin, where are you? And LEG, where are you? We've never asked you this eighty-five thousand times, but I probably have. I I can't remember my own name, so let alone anything else. Uh, <laughs> money orders in the mail, man. There you go. Central, okay. Nice. That's fine. He's, he's good then. Yeah. P A. That's right. Duh. What am I? I'm looking at your logo, and I'm not. Okay. There's a giant eagle looking at me in the face. <laughs> All right. I'm an idiot. See, I'm so dumb. He says L A G, and I think Los Angeles. I'm like, oh wait, no. There's a G there. Uh, let's see here. So, whose channel is? Uh, it's on Topher's channel, I think, right? Uh, is it on? Am I? No, it's not. It's on. Hold on. Let me get the link. I don't see it. Where is it? I don't see the link for their show. 
I don't know why. No cap. Okay. Why is it? I'm looking at his channel though, and it, why is the video? Where's the link? Because I'm on his channel. Oh, I'll just put them there. Uh, that's weird. Hold on. No cap. All right, I'm going to put down the link for his channel. That might be good enough for now. So... Check that out. 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. So, Pacific. So I got a question. Yes. So I feel like I'm big time, and I've already showed this before, but I do want to give a little bit of props. You guys probably know him, but I want to give props to my buddy Kevin from Picking in the Hood. He just passed 500 subscribers. Nice. That, yeah, that's awesome. And every time I watch this, it cracks me up. Put me on full screen. Full screen it is. Have you ever heard of blood, sweat, and cell? You're bloody, you're spreading, and you're damn selling. What the hell? <laughs> Have you, ever heard of you can take me on big screen. There you go. That's an intro. That's Kevin. Kevin is crazy. He, and he, 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 like shouts out like all those people. Can you take me off big screen? You asked to be on the big screen. I... There you go. He shouts out all his people in the beginning of his video, and it's funny. He just he's hilarious. That was good stuff. Oh, What's the yeah. name of his channel? He um, is picking in the hood. Pick picking in the hood too. Oh, he shit. Why is it? I'm not finding any YouTube. Stop showing me other stuff. What the hell? It's pick so here it is. So here it is, right here. Ready? Um, oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I just have to stick it all together. Oh, I hate looking up stuff on YouTube. Seriously. Oh, sometimes I some people like know who I'm crazy. No way, I had a really hard time finding sometimes. If if I'm on a different phone or whatever, is Derek, Derek and Derek and Kevin, both of them, their channels. You know what? So I, I think I figured it out. Anytime you have words that are main taglines or anything in other people's videos, they push them up further. And it, like right now, I'm looking at picking the hood, and the first thing says Mexican pickup lines in the hood. I'm like, what the? I'm. They should have a thing for screen names. You like you search a screen name. Michael said he seemed shy. No, he's not shy. Kevin's, Kevin, Kevin is not shy. Kevin is a beast. I can't find his channel either. I don't know what this that's is. A, that's what I'm saying. I I have a hot cat and and um it's irritating Derek. Thing. Derek, I have a hard time finding. I got it now, but sometimes for some reason I can't find it. Yeah. They try and steer you away. I seriously think that's what it is. Because you can type it in perfectly, word for word, letter for letter, and it'll take you to some, you know, big channel, but they had it as part of the description or part of their whatever. See, I have to type in picking in the hood eBay, maybe. Yeah. See, I type in picking in the hood and I added eBay. Oh, because it's picking in the hood too. It still should have come up though. What the? Seriously. All right, finally, I found it. There we go. Hey, Glenn, how's it going, man? <laughs> what are the pickup lines? I didn't watch the video. I should. I'll go back and I'll watch it. Yeah. Hey, listen. Listen, listen, listen. 
Hey, I would have put this on again. All right, go for it. It's, it's a different one. America business, picking the back roads of America. Have you ever heard of Matt, part-time pickles on YouTube? Have you ever heard of Lonnie from Garage, Flip, Flip, Garage, the shed? He done hired his wife, whatever. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Buffalo Picker? Defend the hustles on Friday nights. Have you ever heard of Derek? I call him Big D from Fundamentals of the Side Hustle, which is a Wednesday night. You got a show going on, a uh, hump day, Wednesday, whatever it is. And Regina Renee. Have you ever heard of the Lone Star Picker? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of Casey from North Carolina? I mean, the Carolina Hustler. Yeah, look him up too. And have you ever heard of blood, sweat, and sell? You're bloody, you're sweating, and you're selling. What kind of stuff is that? Well, this is Kevin from St. Louis, and I just want to tell you guys, woo, that we pick in the hood, too. <laughs> I love yeah. I, yeah. I just, like, yeah. watch those intros. That's pretty good. I put his thing up on the screen. His, uh, Cause we pick in the hood too. Okay. That's his. Okay. I can see that's his slogan then. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, guys, I'll be off big screen in a minute. I apologize. He's a little slow. A little bit slow. I have a delayed reaction for a delayed reaction. Does he know my name? Is it Michael? It's cute. Though. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> oh, cause I always say Michael. Michelle. Michelle. I'm sorry, Michelle, okay? I'm sorry. It's okay. Let me look at this in another way. Okay, I see it now. It's better. Reselling niche. Yeah. Thank you. Best intro in the business. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's always different. It's not the same. Like, so he, he just, it's part of his, it's not like a recorded. That's every, every day it's different. So every day he shouts out people? Yeah, it's usually he stays in the cycle for a little while, and and but it's not like a pre-recorded, just a th nice. See, I'll make it five hundred one. All right, now he's got five hundred two. He drives truck, so you'll see. You'll I've seen him in the van before. I think is that a truck or a van? I thought it was like it's one of truck. those long lights. It's a truck. Like, like it's it's okay if it called worse. Same here. Know what it is, Michelle? I see your name, and I don't think I. my mouth goes before my mind goes, and I have Michael that I do a show with, so I'm making an excuse, but I apologize. My mouth goes a long way, but my mind sometimes does never catch up, so that's okay. I don't feel bad. Uh, he's up to 502 subscribers now. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Nice. That's awesome. I just passed a thousand on Instagram. There you go. I was excited, which means nothing, but, and I have two hundred and eighty. It was like two. It was two hundred and eighty. It might be like two hundred. It might have changed. It was two eighty two or two eighty seven the other day. I'll get there. I, when I stop putting out videos again, I'll get there. Do it. Man, we need to see more TikTok. I was watching your TikTok the other day. The, just the, well, you, all you'd have to do is just, all you and Cameron would have to do is make a TikTok on my TikToks I send you, but I don't send everybody else. I'm just going to put out your TikToks on mine. I'll just steal yours. I don't even thank, know how to do that. But. Thank you, Derek. Thank you. Leroy is blowing up. You need to start the world tour again. That's what's problem. You stopped the world tour for a little bit. I did. I did. So I, once you start I, the world tour up again, and then uh, you know you're gonna blow up. I can't because if I start the world tour, that's gonna jeopardize you. <sighs> jeopardize me? What are you talking? We're gonna about? have to that's find you. We're gonna have to find you a co-host. Does anybody want to be Mo's co-host when I can't be here? I'm putting a call out now. Anybody want to be? Not even. I didn't want this job. 
<laughs> you don't want it no more. Either? So I got two. I got two eighty two. Two eighty two. All right, let's get this up to a thousand. No, no, don't do that. Blood, sweat, be fine. Blood, I already see you when I got, I sweat and tears. Let's see. Here. Oh my God! You kill me when you do that. You do it just to take me off, too. <laughs> I do. What can I say? All right, guys. They're good, man. This is Leroy from Blood, Sweat, and Sound. Thanks, Jennifer. Oh, talk show today with this guy over here. His name is Mo, guys. I hope everybody joins his channel, checks him out. He's a really good guy. Thank you guys for joining, and I'll see you next week. Out. I keep practicing. So you've, you've practiced enough. Next time, hit that little button so you get that red little light that comes out. I got the battery. Actually, I should put the, the battery charger on right now. Okay, there you go. I have five, 57,640 on pot. What happened? Wow. Who has 50,000 subscribers? Wow. No, on Poshmark. Uh, Glenda, Swap Picker. I have. That's a ton. Seriously? No. On Poshmark with uh, that was eBay, really. I wish that was eBay. Yikes! Whew, man, I can't handle that. Is a lot. Holy mackerel! Fifty-seven thousand. Do they have? Really like hey, I'm not picking on you, Swamp. I'm not picking on you, Swamp Picker. Is it all one piece? And you just have 57, 1,057 items? Hey, if you can sell that many, why not? Right? That's you the goal, know. man, to sell one thing a million times. Yeah, so I got the battery right here. Yes. My brother gave me the whole bag with everything. It was good. It was it was mine. It was in the bag. And then his wife said, "Well, maybe we should keep it." <laughs> I was like, "Oh no!" All right, Leroy's TikTok is the best, man. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm posh. It's called followers. eBay. I have about thirteen hundred. How do you get so many followers? I mean, I think Poshmark, it's like they constantly share and share and share. So maybe it's there. So they said they have 15,000 followers or 15,000? 15, 57,000 followers. Oh, oh, okay. Not items. I thought yeah. they said items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I missed that too. I think I'm it's like, because everyone's sharing and sharing and sharing. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't even know if – what's his name, that guy's name? Um, uh, see, Michelle has 88,939 wow. on Poshmark. I'm I don't even know what I have because I don't really sell that much on there. But uh, I can't put it in the chat, guys, because I'm not in the chat. But I have um, 0. 0.0000 on Poshmark. Oh, and she stopped sharing a year ago. Yikes. I have zero. Yeah, I maybe have 10 or 20. I don't know. I've never shared. I only have maybe 15 items on Poshmark. I used to have, I think I got up to about 50 items and I just started. They sold on eBay or I just took them down. I haven't listed an item on Poshmark in, I don't know, can't, six months, maybe more. Uh, and the banging starts. Oh. <laughs> That's not too bad. I'm just kidding.
Oh man, I'm out of labels. Sounds like it. Maybe a thousand. So how much do you guys sell on Poshmark? I'd be interested to know. Or is that like a, I don't even know, is that a, all right, there are people with millions of followers on Poshmark? There might be, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what a good amount of followers on Poshmark is. You can hear the birds chirping. I've sold one dress on Poshmark in four months. I had to cancel my last order because it was sold on eBay on the same day, which is rare, but it was a throw blanket. That was a little bit annoying. I sold one dress on Poshmark in four months. You did? I didn't know you sold dresses. Mm -hmm. I didn't model it like Cameron does, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see if I have one more label on this thing, or if I have to, you know, I'd have to get up. I'm going to be annoyed if I have to do that. Hey, Leo, how's it going? Good morning. All right, let's see if this prints or not. Eesh, just barely. Yeah, that's the last one. I don't sell that much on Posh. Maybe one thing a week at most. I only have home goods. I think 88,000 followers. And are those all resellers? Or are those people that they follow you, so you follow them? So you have this the whole sharing cycle thing. Good morning. That's. I don't understand the whole, I mean, I understand it, but it just feels like a lot of work, Poshmark. Maybe I'm wrong. Is anyone here that sells a lot on Poshmark? You can tell me if it's worth it. I mean, I guess every platform is worth it, you know, if you put the time in, but. I just haven't. Hey, Noel, how's it going? Good morning. Hmm. Yeah. 
Most of my followers are buyers only. I only sell about one a week, two a week on it. I think they'll be, hmm. Okay, maybe I just don't get it then. I just sold some dental sterilization trays on eBay. Nice, that's interesting. I used to sell clothes and, and shoes on Posh. So most of the followers came from that. Sales were more like two a day back then. Okay, that's a little bit better. I mean, it's a million times better than me. I rarely sell anything on Poshmark. I got them from Cat. Oh, okay, and that big lot you got from her? Okay, cool. Clothes by Swamp. There you go. That's a cool name. I don't like selling clothes, so I never did posh. I don't mind clothes. I just don't like the sharing part of it. Well, I took a deep dive yesterday and rented a storage unit. Nice. Shit's about to get real. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I believe they sell more on posh now, though. Yeah, they do. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I'll take another look at them. I need to, but eBay and Amazon are doing pretty well right now. I'm already following you. Yep. Is this what? Oh, how, are we? Are we live? Oh. No, we're not live. Don't worry. You can do whatever. Do whatever. We're, we're live. Oh, we're live. We're live. Hey, everybody. This is Leroy from Blood, Sweat, and Soul. I want to say hello, and this is my friend Mo. How's it going? Everybody's like, they're going to be like, why didn't you send that back home with your brother? You're annoying already. Or use it. One of the two. Uh, <laughs> Good morning, Cotter. I'm ready. I'm already following you. Do you ever have someone ask you for your for your um your email? I mean your YouTube, not your YouTube, your eBay address, like a family member or whatever, and you're like, oh, they're gonna buy something, so I need to pay attention because if I don't get I don't pay attention to names. I really don't pay attention to names. Yeah, yeah. You know, so like, like if anybody, anybody, I've said this before. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Mo. Uh, no, no one's, I mean, no family members ever asked me for my eBay store name or anything like that. I've had a people say, oh, you sell on, you sell where? You sell on eBay? You sell on, no one's ever asked me, no. My family couldn't care less. They'd be like, what? Oh, okay. I get it. Like one of my mentors asked me um, from back in Rhode Island, and she's like, "Oh, what is um, your eBay?" She asked me the other day. It's like, all right, I gotta pay attention because if she buys something and I don't respond, it literally it could say it's going to Leroy Blood, and I wouldn't even know. Hmm. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. I don't really pay attention to who it sells to. I don't always. Every now and then, you'll see an interesting name, like. Every, have you ever sold to someone in Spottenberg? 
Um, I think I have. I know I've sold to someone in Greenville. I've sold to someone in Charlotte. Um, I sold when I was in Rhode Island. I sold to somebody. Um, I went and followed them. It was literally two, four streets away. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It, and and I asked them. I said, "Hey, I said, do you want me to drop it off? Because I knew the street. I was like, do you want me to drop it off? They said, no, just for legal purposes and everything. I'm not in a rush. Um, it can go in the mail. I was like, all right, cool, cool. Uh, but and then I've had somebody say to me, hey, listen, I live in Pawtucket. I'm two miles from you. Can I, I meet you at such and such a place? And I'm I like, always hey. say no. I'm like, uh, sorry, no." No, I, I think I said something like um, we have more than one on location tool or something that they pay twenty or thirty bucks for. I'll meet them. You know, you you gotta take care of your customers, Mo. That's the. Problem. I don't want to meet anybody. But you you gotta take care of your customers, no. Mo. No, 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 no. You know, see, that's why me and you aren't getting along. <laughs> I don't. You haven't figured out yet. I'm not not actually human. This is a this is a whole thing made up. It's a, a hologram. It's a robot. It's not real. Unless, just like these are fake packages too. I now have an L-shaped desk so I can, there you go. Shoppy's, uh, sh Holly has her L-shaped desk going. Oh boy. There's the ringtone. Hello. So people don't realize. Uh, I think so. I think so. Just um. Just yep, I know. Nobody really looks at this. I mean, it's funny they call it an eBay store. Does anyone really? I mean, there are. I mean, I guess if you're a big time seller, uh, or if you're a big brand, they'll look at that. But people generally don't really look. I don't get too many repeat customers. Um, I I mean, usually if they're gonna buy more than one, they do it that that one time only i wish i got repeat customers that'd be nice but i guess i sell too much random stuff thank you jennifer i'm almost four away from 700 all right everyone go out and um to, and anthony too go ch uh, click on anthony and noel's channels i can't do it because i've already done it and make sure that the top thingy is clicked. You know how the subscribe thing for some reason gets unsubscribed? Like you're subscribed but you don't have the bell notification thing? Click on that for both of them too. I don't know why that YouTube does that. I'm a tax guy called Leroy. Really? Oh, yeah. Tell them about all those 10%. Uh, ask, yeah. I have a pair. That's not legal, man. Leroy's pulling off some uh, tax scams. Well, yeah. lives in the state with the most people who never interact with each other. Stranger danger. Yeah, I think it's me personally. To be honest, most Californians are friendly. I'm, I'm like, I'm like an everything phobe. I'm a person phobe. That's the problem. Whatever you want to call it. That's the problem. Last night I was one away. What? Wait, wait, wait. Now you're four away? That's not right. Hold on. Farm girl scavenger. Now you're three away. You're three away. So everyone go over to Farm Girl Scavenger. Yeah, California is worse, especially if you, I mean, I'm the worst because I'm a hobbit as it is, as people like to say, but uh, I don't know. I used to have, actually, my neighbors on both sides were really, really friendly, but they both moved. It might be because of me, but who knows? We, when we moved in here, they came over to gave us care packages, and then we've only been here two and a half years, I think two, no, not even two and a half, two years. Yeah, two years. And then, uh, yeah, now they both moved and we don't know our neighbors anymore. Uh, let's see. No, I was at 697. Come on, guys. We need three more. 697 going once. 697 going twice. 
I need three subscribers. We got three subscribers for Noel today. This morning. Grass picker. And Anthony, we need to get Anthony to a thousand. He's at nine fifty six right now. That can't be too hard to get him to a thousand. A lot of grumpy old people here. That is right. Where in this channel? Yeah. There's two oh, right here. We're talking to talking about Anthony again. It was definitely <laughs> No, I was telling I was telling everybody that I used to know my mate my neighbors are really friendly when we first moved in here two years ago. They both moved out. I definitely think if I had to pick two grumpy people, it would definitely be Anthony and Paul. I didn't make the list. I didn't even make that list. My God. I figured I I'd at least make the grumpy person list. I don't know what list you'd make. I, mean, I can't I, even make a list of grumpy people. Is that what you're telling me? I nah. No way. Anth no, Anthony would be doing push-ups. How's that grumpy? And Paul will be like, um, telling me some rapper I couldn't think of the name of. All right, thanks, Derek. He no, didn't Derek subscribe boy. to him for you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Derek. I like to feel to like I'm contributing to <laughs> thank society. You, thank you, Derek, for subscribing to Anthony. Because uh, Mo, right there, he really cares. I take he, he credit. Really for, look, really I take cares. credit for whenever I can take credit for anything. Th thank you so much for subscribing to Anthony, Derek, because that guy right there, he cares. Like He he wouldn't have slept tonight if you didn't subscribe to him. Like, Not at all. Anthony, you are blessed that he told Derek to subscribe to you. <laughs> slept at night. I'm going to take a nap in like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, hey, man. Look, one, now that's two things in like five minutes. One, I didn't make the grumpy list. Two, you're taking away me trying to take away credit from somebody else. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Listen, I didn't see the contract. Hashtag facts. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Derek, how many jobs are you the manager today? Seven, all 17? Derek has jobs like, like uh, Anthony does push-ups. Yes. Tons. You know, you see the guys. Remember when you were a kid? You see yes. the guys. Like, yeah, watch this. This is exactly what we're going to do. Watch this. Here's, here's Derek, okay? This is the iPhone 8. You see it, guys? See the colors? Oh, it's working. Hey, what's going on? Hey, everybody. Yeah, this is uh, Derek. Yeah, yeah man, I, I, I want to work on stuff. I, I'll do what I got to do. Hold on one second. Okay, here's the, uh, the older iPhone, right? It's a working phone. Okay? Look at that. Hey, too, I hello? Think. Yeah, well, do me one second. Let me, let me call you right back. I just got a couple things going on, and I'll be right back to you. And then we got the Samsung phone, okay? They, they all, they're all working, okay? So you guys don't think this is fake. Hey, yeah, well, what's going on? This is Derek. Oh, yeah, no, I told the guys. The guys are on their way there. They're going to take care of everything that you need. They're going to clean everything up. All right, thank you so much. Thanks for calling. And then... Here we go. We got a Samsung. And, and and I can't make this up. They're all different phones. They're all working, guys. I don't pedal phones. Hey, yeah, hello. Hey, how you doing? This is Derek from Fundamentals of the Side Hustle. What's going on? Is everything good? Did you get my pallets? Did my pallets come in? Hold on one second. Yeah, so, Billy, I just wanted to tell you, um, I got the guy coming with the pallets and everything. He's on the other line. All right? So just make sure that you guys have everything ready so when this guy comes with the truck, it's all taken care of. That is Derek to me. Well, I, all I want to say is that you got four phones, and so you got four ways that you could pick up the phone when I call, and you never picked it up once in the like the last wait uh, ever. What is that all about? You, you <laughs> four phones. I'll call you right now. You oh, probably wait, look like click, 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 click four times. Uh, <laughs> seriously, man. You. You do really think that I have, you really think I got 200 subscribers? No, I got six cell phones. <laughs> Not one who picks up the phone when I call. Just just putting that out there. Hey, Topher, how's it going? Are you okay? Sorry about that little rant, guys. <sighs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. 
Derek didn't hear that because he was on the phone already, though. So <laughs> he was. He was on one of his seven phones. <laughs> He's like, hold on a second. Wait, I'll get to you in a second. I got such, such a huge haul yesterday. Nice. And in between all of that, Anthony did like six push-ups, and Noel oh, posted man. nine things, and Jennifer untangled the necklace, and me and <laughs> were still talking. Tax donuts. I think we get an extra 30 days now, but where's my credit? No. That's more money. I believe it. I believe it. I'm the one that drops the links. <laughs> What's up, Paul? Paul, Mo thinks I'm a drug dealer because I have four cell phones. No, I just said that you don't pick up my phone call, and it makes me very upset. Do you call me? Exactly. Okay, I rest my case. <laughs> I don't. Those are the ones that are working. Do you the want one. To okay, yeah, the one time he calls you back. Is just to call back and say, you know, we're coming home. We had an awesome day without you, but uh, it was really cool. We had a fun time. All right, gotta go now. That was it. That was the one time he called. So, I'll call. I I don't call many people. A lot of it is Instagram. I, I just I can't deal with this right now, man. I can't. It's just yeah. I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even have your number in this phone anymore. All right. See. <sighs> like if I if he does pick it, like who is this? No, I don't no need another warranty. All right, goodbye. Thank you, Jen. Paul is in the house. Oh, sorry, guys. No worries. <laughs> what do you expect from those Northeast mob guys? <laughs> uh. You got six phones, but do you have a pager? That's the that's the sign of a uh, a real businessman from the nineteen nineties. Leroy, do you want to know really what Mo calls? <laughs> what I call Leroy? No, oh, blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, Jennifer passes on her gift she won to. Oh, really? Can you imagine how many subs you would really have that didn't drop links like that? I know, Jennifer. I think Jennifer is the one that needs a percentage. You, I think we're missing like the, the bigger picture here. She's the one that needs like 30%. Yeah, we need to tax Leroy's hat. I agree. He'll get pissed off if you start talking about the Steelers, though. Uh, see, look at his face drop. Yep, there you go. Can't talk about those Steelers. He thinks you're selling a car warranty. Yep. Yeah, hello. Yeah, his real name is not Topher. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to look up and see what it is. Hold on. Yeah. Yo, Billy. Yeah, out in uh, California. Yep. He's up that way. Yeah, he's okay. He sells video games. Put an ad on Craigslist for video games. Who is this Billy? Yeah, Tony, 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 listen. Oh, I just, oh, found, Tony, out, I just found out what he drives. He drives, yeah, he drives. That's what he drives. Yep. Okay, yep. Yeah, hey, Gino, I agree. Gino, Gino, yeah. Gino, just go down and Gino. look for the guy oh. that says, look for the guy that says hello all the time. Yep. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. It's yep. on to you, man. I called the boys. Oh, no. You called Gino and Tony? Oh, you know what's up then. Was that Fat Tony or uh, Big Tony or <laughs> that was it, White it wasn't, Tony? Or? It wasn't Big Tony. Oh, no. I'm not as scared. If you call Big Tony, you know, you mean business then. 100% that Leroy walked around in the back of the room with the two way. Yeah. You had a pager back in the day, right? Oh, yeah. You must have. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Do you remember what your pager code was? What? My, Did you have a code like a code for your name, like at the because I would type pager code, and then at the well, end I would the, have a little so thing. If you if you message me, it would be like two seven two three eight four. Is that what you're saying? No, I mean 
like everybody that I like was friends with at the end of whatever message they wrote, they would write a little thing. It would be like their name or their code. No, it was just the phone number would come up. It was just the phone number would come up. Okay. Yeah. And and like um I did have a guy I had a guy. Oh yeah, guy. I had Harold. And Harold would put two pounds at the end of it. Gotcha. So I knew it was Harold. Okay. That's what I meant. Like they always put so do you have a palm pilot? I, I had a friend who used to work at a palm pilot. Like Oh a palm pilot? No, I never had a oh. palm pilot. I never, I was never that fancy, and I never had a Palm Pilot. Thank you, Jen. Now you know why I only had one auction on my channel. It was for Jen. I agreed. She's on fire today. Are we that far behind in the chat? Yeah, I think so. Because we were listening to you talking to Gino and Tony. You're lucky I didn't call Noel. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that, that actually, that's the call that... You get that call, you better watch it. She hits you in the head with a rake. Yeah. I need to sign up for Buy Me A Coffee. Yeah, I agree. We need to sign up, Jen, for a sign, uh, Buy Me A Coffee thing. We do, Jen. We need to sign you up for Buy Me A Coffee. We <laughs> I used to leave 143 to mow, um, Paul. Terrible. Live hit orders. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what that means? Anthony, I mean, Anthony, I'm glad you're Anthony. I do. Did you? I hope, I'm hoping that wasn't the call you were making right there. That was for Tofa, yeah. Send him here, I got spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Someone one of the very last. First AT&T pagers last month for 70-ish. Yeah, she I did. Cool. She, had, she had it. It was wicked cool. If you guys watch her videos and you know Noel, you would have known that she sold one because she showed it in her videos. Mo, you trying to show me up? Gino's and Tony's are really good pizza joints. I thought Gino's was a good. Uh, wait, uh, Paul's in Philadelphia, isn't Gino's a, a Philly cheesesteak place? It is. It is. Leroy left. <laughs> I used to leave it on everybody's messages. What for? I love you. I love you. I love you. Wait, there's more than that. It's not just one, four, three. It's eight, two, oh, seven. Yeah. Does anyone in the chat know what 827 stands for? There was hello, and then there was boobless. Okay, now you just talk. That's that's what you do on the calculator, and you flip it upside <laughs> down. That's I'm not talking about that. <laughs> okay, what does 827 mean? I don't know. It's, it's similar to 143. I don't know. Uh, see if anybody gets... Oh, my goodness. Yep, Jen's not afraid of the boys. I, I believe it. She's not afraid of who? She, she's not afraid of the boys. She can hold her own. I don't know if she can. See, Gino's is an absolute shit cheese steak place. I, I'm not from, I've never, I mean, I think I've been to Philadelphia. Have I been there? Maybe the airport. Hey, Paul, you better be careful now. Yes. So, what's the best Philly cheesesteak place in uh, Philadelphia? If you, LG's you, there too. Really pick a, you don't ask the flipping sports guy. He's in he's gonna be, he, the flipping sports guy is going to be like, it's a catch a glove special. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, actually. It changed my light bulb, folks. My son was mad. Um, nice. Good for you. I wish I, if I had the bell, I'd hit it right now. And that pager was still working. Wow. I can go to Costco in Somebody about has some serious batteries on. Yikes. In, in about 15, 20 minutes. Is that not enough? Is that too too early? You need what, two o'clock? Gino's and Pat's are complete tourist traps. Really? It's because of what? The Food Network and all that? Travel channel, whatever. So they charge you like 15 bucks for a cheese it could steak. Be my, my internet. Or it could be cutting. I'm making coffee. The last list ten things. Have coffee, then off to work. Maybe an estate sale. Cause why the heck not? There you go. Noel. Always busy. There you go. Leroy. That's right. My son said that he would do it, but I told him. That I need to do it. Nice. I like that attitude. 
You changed the light bulb. That's more than what I've done today. You heard the joke, how many moles does it take to change a light bulb? About 15. And they'd all ask somebody else to do it. All right, so here's the deal. Yeah. Gino and Anthony, they looked for Tofu. They can't find him, but um, they they're gonna they're gonna try again in the morning because he's already hiding. He's already hiding. Yeah. You heard that if Tofu is still here, Gino and Tony are looking for you apparently. But he said he's got a bowl of spaghetti waiting for waiting for them. Yeah, but the, all they're gonna do is they're gonna put an ad on Craig on uh, Insta, on Facebook saying um, video games for sale. And he's gonna be like, "Bam, this so far." How how do you find how do you find Mo or how do you find Tofa in uh, in where they are in California? You just put an ad on f Facebook for for video games or toys. Well, I'm, I've been hiding. I haven't been going. I haven't been answering every single Facebook ad the last year. Just so you know, I used to answer all of them. I used to get cussed out by people by lowballing them. Oh my goodness! This one time, I Were you had all this guy that wanted. He, he had a collection of uh, teenage Ninja Turtles for like ten grand. So I said these are worth a grand at most, and he wrote me the longest, nastiest letter ever about how I should never try and buy from him again. And that's all. Uh, oh I'm, no, he got. He's getting very brutal. God, wait, I'll wait till you go down. Go ahead. No, no, I'm done. That was it. I was just reminiscing. No, you got to go to the chat when you get to Tofa. Okay, yeah, the networks, uh, every national sports cast affiliate is playing. Okay. I know 937 is yes because I call my bank. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Come through 1423 Tolan. Oh, my goodness. He's, we got clips. Oh, my. Tofa's ready, man. He's sitting there ready and waiting. That no joke. Any tougher froze Leroy. She's talking about the light bulb. We told her to change. She's going to be charged for. Oh, you're talking about Holly? Yes. So she, she changed, changed it. She got a step stool and she changed it. And she said her, her son's annoyed that um, she went ahead and did it, but she had to do it on her own. First hostile no cap Friday. Apparently, apparently. Uh, you can tell Tony and Gino to tune in. Uh, they will. They just they 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 sent me this pet pamphlet. There you go. They sent me a nice pamphlet. Tony and Gino did. Tony Gino. So listen, are we uh, we're gonna cut it? Yep, I think so because. Sounds it's like getting brutal. I don't want no problems with Tofa. Uh, I I call the boys off. I call the boys off. Gotcha. And his, his shows come out soon, guys. I'm gonna try to catch as much of it as I can. Everybody that's left in the chats, please go check out um the show uh, No Baloney by the Four Baloney guys on uh, Tofa's channel. Oh. Uh, Derek Salami. We got uh Julian uh. Julian Pimento Loaf. You know he's just upset because he won't invite him on the show. That's that's all it is. We got that's all it is. The loaf. We got uh Oh, I'm look, sorry. We got Tofa, so we got everybody. So go no guys, go check those guys out. They have a really, really good show and um they're real. So uh if you like real and not script stuff like me and Mo, check those guys out today. <laughs> you know it, Tony. I mean, Tony. I keep saying Tony now. Gino, Tony. Gino, Tony. I gotta go eat. I'm starving. That's the problem. All right, we're gonna leave so Leroy can get some, hit, get his grub on. Yeah, I gotta, and I gotta charge my phones. There you go. That's for us. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys on Monday then. Take it easy, guys. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.